welcome Here we go. <laughs> to this very special episode of the Safety Third Podcast. Is it, is it is. Yeah, you just talked. We're right on now. right now. Oh. I see. Yeah, it's yeah. all happening yeah. already. Have you ever used a microphone before? Not really. Oh, yeah. You just you hold it yeah. and then you talk into this and try and keep it whatever distance you hold it. Try and keep it like consistent so oh. that we can. I mean, we also don't really do that yeah. that well. So. I, why do people get mad that we have them hold the mics? It's like how all mics work, right? On stage, you like pop them out of the stand <laughs> yeah, and walk yeah. around with like them. Like when you're really going hard. Yeah, yeah. I don't even know why these come with like a thing that you can screw on to like a stand. <laughs> it's unergonomic. Useless. Yeah. It just gets in the way. Well, they really should have made these more like handle like. Yeah, mine's <laughs> loose maybe too. Maybe we could 3D print some kind of handles. We should actually. <laughs> Wait. We just I need mean, an adapter. We yeah. have a lot of handles yeah, already. <laughs> no. You, always, like, like, you have a lot. The ceiling and then have them at the perfect like. Oh, like coming do down. Yeah. Like, no, that's too nice. Hello, everyone. I, I feel like maybe you just dangle them. <laughs> just have them dangle, have them rotate. That'd be cool. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> you can like spin it up, you know? So it's like, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, the mics always point north. <laughs> mics always point. <laughs> Today's a very special guest. This is Jorvan. Jorvan. Ajay. Yep, your is favorite it? oddity. You know. <laughs> yes, I have a catchphrase. Deal with it. So it's, it's not Jorvan. <laughs> But everyone probably says Jorvan, right? Jorvan? Yeah, Jorvan. it's actually Jorvan. Yeah. But yeah, I'm so used to everyone saying it wrong that I was just like, it's just a J. You to know be what? fair, it's I don't think I've ever met anyone named Jorvan. You know, <clears throat> to be fair, neither have I. So <laughs> My parents did good. When it came to naming practice, they said you, they wanted something unique and they got it right. But it, uh, it wasn't uh, sort of like a thing where your parents were really like a big fans of like a fantasy series and one of the characters was no, named Jorvan. Uh, no. <laughs> Wait, is that, yeah, my, my parents oh. are old, so the concept of fantasy series to them was not a thing. Oh, so you wouldn't have been like Aragorn or like uh, mm. uh, no. Smeagol? Uh, Smeagol. <laughs> <laughs> what the uh, fuck, mom and dad? <laughs> <laughs> Who names their kids Smeagol? That's so messed up. <laughs> someone did. So, I yeah. guarantee someone well, did. What about like all the like people after Game of Thrones that named their like little girls Khaleesi the, or whatever? Yeah, yeah. And then like the character ends up being like a genocider at the end. Yeah. Uh-huh. They just, if you name your kid after any like fantasy character, you're just signing them up to be like tortured. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just, this is going to be bad. What do you mean? No one's going to mess with Thanos, right? That's why I named my kid after the number 13 at Jersey Mike's. <laughs> <laughs> is that the hot pep? No, I think it's the uh, original Italian. Okay, okay. Original Italian, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, original Italian. <laughs> Naming conventions are hard. We could say number 13, too. It's like a built-in Number 13. <laughs> 13. I mean, honestly, if we start naming people by numbers, it may be easier to keep track of you guys. <laughs> but then you'd have to have someone who's, like, numbered, like, 10 billion. Yeah. Oh, that would get confusing. Yeah. Imagine being 69, 69, 69, 420, 69. You know, you'd be the coolest kid on the block, though. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Where are you I, going? I, I'm going to go uh, see 69, 69, 69, and 420. Yeah. I always thought that, like, the job you have right now is kind of what I would imagine to be... Like almost like an engineering dream job, kind of like what I would have wanted, like right out of school, mm-hmm. if I hadn't um, become a stupid YouTuber. <laughs> yeah, you want to explain the hierarchy of what you do? Oh, okay. Uh, I would say like what you do, and then who you work for, if you want to talk about it. Um, I'm. You get to say their name. You said yes. <laughs> you get to say it once before I, they have to pay us. <laughs> legally, legally, I am a technical influencer. What does that mean? Is I am an influencer who works for a company. The company being. Gonna, Here's your uh, one, here's shot. one shot. Mauser. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> the level of trouble I would get into. Is it, uh, we can do anything because they're not paying us. Uh, Arrow? Arrow Arduino. electronics? Uh, no. Intel. Uh, um, we work with arm, them, so uh, it makes you feel better. We, we raspberry do, Pi. We do have those as well. Uh, easy EDA. <laughs> um, no, I work for DigiKey. That's AliExpress. AliExpress. Te- Temu. <laughs> You know, I got some beef with DigiKey. Get some beef. Oh, wait, I, no, no, you, you keep going though. So you, oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. work with DigiKey, but you do like social yeah. media stuff. Um, they need an influencer, and I happen to be free because um, Alan tried to hire me, but Alan paid mm, with shit. Yeah. So yeah. Well, I yeah. couldn't compete. With he couldn't DigiKey. compete with a real company, so you know. <laughs> surprise, um, surprise. And that was him giving you 150 percent of his income. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, sir, you weren't paying enough, so... Yeah, it's fair. Yeah. I got nothing left. 
I'm giving it everything she's got. And he just swoops in. <laughs> They're like, hey, we sing your stuff. And Adafruit were the ones who recommended me. So mm-hmm. like, yeah. To be fair, uh, I would have had you doing way less fun things, I think, than making stuff for DigiKey. Yeah, I made that one weird spinner thing for you. And then I remember oh, when we were right. talking, you're like, hey, um, your next project I was probably going to have you do, which could make me famous, too. You're Snake Walker. Yeah, were, yeah, yeah. You know, I almost be... asked you to make the legs yeah, for Snake yep, Legs. Yep. And then I did it myself. That's what you're supposed could... to do. <laughs> it's, I, I, I mean, I think, like, when people find out that, like, Mythbusters or Mark Rober or, like, any of the, not us, really, sometimes us a little bit, but, like, the big YouTubers, like, like oh, my God, they pay people to, like, build stuff for them. And it's, like, a big kind of, like, like yeah. moment where it's, like, oh, I can't believe, like, Mark Rober doesn't build his own. But it's, like, at a certain mm-hmm. point. You, you, like, physically can't. Yeah, yeah you, you, like, you can't, yeah. cannot, you just do right. not have enough time at a certain point to, like, actually be doing the entire thing and it's still like he's still the one who's coming up with the ideas mm-hmm. and asking people to like yeah. are you allowed to hire them? a welder can you hire a welder can you hire a 3d modeler can you like where what if you're not good at something can you hire someone right. to help you build yeah. a pcb you can do small things like that i feel like a lot of times people enjoy the concept of the self-taught or out of school engineer who just built stuff themselves it's yeah, more oh, yeah. of a story that's more important of you than the actual figuring out that, oh, really, you have a secret team behind the door doing right. everything. Unfortunately, I could never afford the secret team, so I, I mostly am still doing it myself. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that, that, I don't know if that makes anyone happier or less happy, but it makes me very unhappy. <laughs> I think it's it's a kind of relatable experience, too, if you do stuff that you can do with your own hands, but then it limits like the scope of what you can do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, I think a lot of... I mean, I hit that for sure. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's yeah. it's hard doing, like, every single discipline. Like, if you want to build a robot, you know, you got to yeah. do mechanicals. It's also hard to be disciplined. <laughs> right. Exactly. Wait, that's hard for you. Okay. Yeah. I, uh, no, maybe yeah. I'm not. Work all... Yeah. Do you like the glitter work, bomb. Like... Look at the glitter bomb, right? Yeah. 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 There... I don't think a single one of us could do mm-hmm. that on our own without it either, A, being total Shiite, right. or B, taking years. Yeah. And it did take a long time to make that. I mean, that's like a serious piece of technology. Yeah. Well, then also he has to be prepared to lose it too, because that's a problem right. I have on my. Yeah, projects. he has to make like multiples. There's yeah, like logistics, like, uh, right? Of like, like, how do you how do you recover it? How many do you need? If like, how do you charge it? You know, you saw the improvements mm-hmm. they made from year to year, and so like being able to do something like that, you literally could not do it on your own. Because like, yeah. even if you could build it. Then you have to do the whole production. You have mm-hmm. to get the boxes to all these people. Like it's a big ordeal. Like I would say, you know, maybe stuff made here would do it, but it would take them a really long time yeah. to actually build it. Yeah. And then it would take them a really long time to do all of them. Then it would take them a really long time to like find the people, like send them out. Like, but yeah, nobody's gonna get mad at Mark Grober for not welding together the giant elephant's toothpaste right. flask. <laughs> you know, right. it's like you have to have people build that. Right. Like, it would take him. That would be the whole video for like a normal YouTuber is like building a giant right. flask, right? right? But it's also the concept that some people see, want to see themselves in you. They want to be able to see yeah. that video and be like, oh, I could do that, too, if I like learned that skill or like I could be that cool one day. They want to have that yeah. weird feeling. Well, of, he did like, all the math. He, he like, you know, did all the small scale tests. And, yeah. and at the end, it's not even doesn't it's not even, about building. Anyways. Yeah. Nobody like, even cares yeah. who built the big. We're, flask, here, right? we're here for the flash to explode. OK, we don't care how you put it together. Just he literally. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't think he even shows you it being built, really. I don't. Uh, at this point, the, I, but the it's build never, montages are down to like 12 seconds long in a market. Yeah. Okay. It's more like it's like the he shows you the big problems. Yeah. Yeah. And then what they did to overcome them. And that's like even if you're an engineer working in a shop like if you work at like you know let's say a you know a aerospace manufacturer you're in a cubicle you're not in the machine shop yeah so if you design the part and you explain how it works mm-hmm. you're not actually the person putting it together and man you know making the parts and assembling it and it's yeah. like that's basically so you come up with the I idea mean, i mean that's yeah. it's, it's almost like it's kind of like this this giant illusion right because even for like like a late night show like conan o'brien is the face of like the conan o'brien late show or whatever mm-hmm. but like he's not writing all those jokes that he's saying oh yeah like there's an right. entire writer's room and it would be imp- like when the writer strike happened like conan was still on the air right but he had nothing he would just oh, like yeah, kind of really? mess around and like I remember there was one where like he went into the catwalk and the rafters. He's like, "Oh, I've never been up here. Look, come on, let's go up here." So it's like oh, that's pretty though, good though. Well, yeah, like, yeah but <laughs> it wasn't material, right? Right? Because right. it's like mm-hmm. like if you're if you're sort of like the face of something, 
you just literally would never have the amount of time it takes to make a late night program. Yeah. Well, but then you forget about the whole concept. Well, we have a lot here, especially in America. Um, individualism. We've all been told these stories that this one special right. person did this one special thing. Right. And that's and stuff true. like that. Yeah. And that, like, that's sublive. That's in your head. Like you don't think about it, uh -huh. but it's constantly in your head. I'm Tony, Tony Stark. Stark. Tony yeah. Stark yeah. builds yeah. all his. I'm 50,000 Lockheed never. Martin employees in yeah. a single man. <laughs> It's like the 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 fact that I mean that that mythology of like Tony Stark does everything. It's like in, in real life. Do you he think Elon Musk is screwing together yeah. Falcon Nine engines? <laughs> well, Elon Musk is eating paste out of a tube. Yeah. <laughs> Let, let's be real. I've said like, before too. I'll say this earlier. Paste. Um, I'm I went to art school. Like I have an art degree. Actually, I don't have an engineering degree. Any of that. All that I have taught myself throughout the years. Mm -hmm. But the one thing I miss about hero stories is the real reason to be a hero. And recently, it's just. A whole bunch of people who got powers and they are already horrible people. Now they're horrible people with oh, like Marvel right now, where yeah, it's kind of yeah. just like there's there's however many. I TV like shows I like how it's movies. come back around to that though, because I was well, sick of like heroes always being like so squeaky clean, you know. Well, that's the thing. I, I, made the I want like a, I want a if superhero were... that smokes meth before he goes. Dude, out to fight yeah, yeah, that's where he gets before. his power. Um, Method Man, they call him. <laughs> <laughs> well, they had that in the um, original was it Green Arrow series? Yeah. Mm. Uh, <laughs> He did drugs. The, the old cartoons in the sixties were just dark. Let's go with that old comic books. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, what I was saying about that is um, the thing what makes a hero a hero, in my opinion, is the trauma. Yeah. Tony Stark was a dude. Well, still his dude. Should be real about it. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> he really didn't change his ways until he went through a really hard trauma. He was being tortured, shocked, beaten almost every day. Nourishment. It was like other. He's going to build that suit. He's going to die. Right. And mm -hmm. then he realized afterwards, like, yeah, other people are going through what I went through. A lot of people who are in power don't live that life. Oh, it's not. You know, I think Batman's most people in, in that situation would have died. Yeah, true. <laughs> uh -huh. Build the suit or yeah. die. Okay. <laughs> hey, you'd be surprised how smart and how strong you are when your life is on the line. Let's be real about it. When, when you're, when it's I got a strong will to die. die. You have a, a cave full of materials to make an Iron Man suit. You'd be like, all right, I well, got a Nintendo like 64. Thing. And, well, also, you have to think, he made a whole suit. I would just build some guns. Yeah, I mean, I really just bomb my way out. That's true. I that would have been, been a lot. So, well, yeah, no, yeah, that would have been a lot simpler, wouldn't it? Well, and also, <laughs> yeah. you forget, he created cold fusion with a nuclear reactor attached to his chest. You really, I, hey, terrorists, I now have a nuclear bomb down here. I make yeah. the rules. It's not a dead man switch. Yeah, right? come on, let's play this game. Yeah. Let's play this game. Yeah. And what, what did you build? He, you've got a, a little bit of a nuclear weapon no, on your, on your this person no, right now. There's a 12 volt battery in this. What you <laughs> That's a lot Made of, of uranium. <laughs> yeah, what, yeah, what is uh, this guy here? What is this oh, thing? Oh, it's just my little glasses. Um, oh, just your. I don't know. Those yeah. are pretty big glasses. <laughs> ha, 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 ha. But no. <laughs> Is it a prop? It's, 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 it's okay. A lot of things mean it's big. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're a prop, but I use them for soldering too. But like, I always wanted oh, my okay. own character item, which is like that one thing everyone's like kind of known for when they build stuff. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. So these are like mine. So like I built like these like rotating lenses. That oh, those are Wow, that's kind of cool. Yeah, they work. They I actually work? use them for soldering and stuff. So like, sometimes I'm soldering because my first job before jumping into all of this was manufacturing and I was a startup. Mm -hmm. And a lot of things we had to do was build these things over and over again. But my soldering skills were kind of bad back then. Mm. And I would have a friend who would come in and be like, hey, what's wrong with this board? And they'll always be like, oh, yeah. It, it looks really out. lumpy and not very shiny at, on this side. Is it supposed to look like that? Yeah, so, like, chef, yeah, chef, I fucked that one up real good, chef. Right. I'm really happy he's a nice guy because like, if it was like Gordon Ramsay's in there, I wouldn't survive. It's raw, it's <laughs> raw. <laughs> The coldest my, fucking joints I've sorry. ever seen. <laughs> the flow was off. I'm sorry. You know the, the trick, the the one trick to soldering mm. is just flux. I swear to God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Flux in a hot air you gun. Just, yeah. You can't fuck it up. For well, me, also it's, it's just the doing 100% lead. Like none of the lead free stuff. <laughs> Seriously though, like you're not doing a better job. You just think you're doing yeah. a better job. Well, why? Are you why not job? just do a thing that makes it simpler, makes you think you're better than you are? Just use the 100% mm. lead, and it just yeah. like melts like butter. Well, only only real electronic time. engineers have have lead. <laughs> you get better yeah. at design. It's only yeah. increased lead my poisoning. aggression tenfold. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. No. For hey, crazy. I swear. Uh, but yeah. no. Yeah. I built these because I was like, I wanted my own like thing, and like I grew up on the stories of the crazy engineer always having their own like custom goggles. Mm. Glasses, goggles things. is definitely yeah. a step. So like, yeah. I was like, all right, I built one, and then I kept building them and upgrading them. And these are technically the latest versions, but I have a new one I'm working on literally at home, which will do all of the uh, extra stuff. 
because it has an AI and IR sensor in the right eye, which is looking directly in my eye. But when I blink, the lens will rotate for me. Mm. Oh, so you can control like which one yeah, it which sets I'm you like, by blinking. Yeah. What happens when you actually have to blink though, like naturally? I'll mess up. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> you need to you need to somehow establish. You the have difference a sensor between... in both eyes, and then if only one of them goes off, it was on purpose. A wink, yeah, yeah. Well, or a like a, even like a threshold of like time where it's like a quick one doesn't do anything, but then like a slow a slow wink will do it well it's one of those situations where like i am constantly trying to improve and the improvement on these were definitely the sensor because this eye literally just has a light on it and it has like a small iris in here you can kind of somewhat see it um but it was useless and also the wiring on this is really bad the wires keep getting caught on stuff so i was like mm -hmm. all right i need to really change up everything make everything a lot more enclosed to protect the wires and stuff like that and i just need a cool tech way that i can make them work without me hitting a switch like these have a switch that can turn on and off mm. so. right i mean i think that the thing that i knew you best for was like the the familiars that you make like the, yeah. the robot like i mean I almost they're almost like Digimon. I don't know if anyone's I gonna get Digimon. that. Is that gonna make any sense? You can make anybody? a Pokemon really. joke too. Or Pikachu, Pokemon. Pikachu stays out of the ball. Well, no, Pikachu, but all the other Pokemon Pikachu stays in my were balls. like like Pokemon were like little pets. Like yeah. like they didn't have any agency. Digimon yeah. like were like a, a whole other person, basically. They can talk, they can Yeah, you know, they didn't eat. they didn't yeah. get trapped in a little ball except for like Pikachu. Mm, okay. But they also didn't have a lot of choice of what they Yeah, well, no, I like Digimon. Digimon were yeah, Digimon's way better, honestly. I, I'm not afraid to say that. I'm sorry if whoever's watching the future. <laughs> who is gonna who is I'm, gonna watch, get mad at watch that? Just be the thing that makes the most <laughs> uh -huh, people right? angry. <laughs> I prefer like, to, here's What the my thing. fuck did you say about here's Pokemon? The, here's my thing. When you start overthinking Pokemon to a point, it's slavery. You go out there, you throw a ball, you capture a thing, and now it fights and works for you. Yeah. Yeah, and it I'm does it until bit. it dies. I don't That's feel qualified true. to add to this conversation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I if mean, you if you overly think about Pokemon too much, it yeah. becomes dark. That's it was pretty like so they were in a wild world out there though. Yeah, well, you know? the funny thing about what that about too, a Pidgey comes down and like is, uh, pecks your eyes out. It definitely well, yeah, started yeah. differently than yeah. it ended. Yeah, well, even um, even the new game <laughs> they explain how capturing Pokemon work. A Pokemon god sent back someone through time, being like, "Hey, capture my people." I want oh, to do this. Yeah, really? Yeah. That's so yeah. that's how they justified it? Yeah. Because <laughs> Pokemon what? Jesus said, I want these people that to That sounds like some oppressive Wait, wasn't, shit. Wasn't that like, like manifest destiny? Imagine, <laughs> imagine <laughs> you like. Pokemon manifest destiny. <laughs> okay, imagine you got a beef with your neighbor. Like you're, you're a kid, you got a beef with the neighbor kid. And so you, both of you bring your dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and you, you're like, yeah, go at it, dogs. And the dogs just like almost kill well, each other. And also, you have to think about it. Pokemon are fucking scary. Pikachu yeah. throws out how many volts in one attack? <laughs> yeah. Enough how that it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, Charizard is throwing flaming fireballs everywhere. How are you not the master species of this planet? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, see, that's why I like Digimon. It's not like sending your dog to fight, it's like sending your uh, friend who's more muscular than you to yeah. fight for you. But you're at least friends, and he's agreeing to do it. He's right. like, yeah, yeah I got yeah. you. Back. And the injuries are never yeah, that bad, Digimon right? Digimon are literally like the power of friendship because, like, if they get beat up, <laughs> the you, power can, of you can run over. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, it's true. Like, if they get beat up, you can run by and like hug them and be like, "I love you, my best friend." And it's like, okay, now I'm now a bigger Digimon because you said that. Oh, okay. Well, if you think about it, uh, I never really watched that much of in it. In the little like Digimon movie back when it first came out in the early '90s, oh yeah, the yeah, yeah. huge giant kaiju fight they had in the middle of the city, yeah, literally happened because. um Grey Mom was protecting the kids. If the kids didn't need help, Grey Mom wouldn't have turned into a right, giant. Right, because because Kari blows into the whistle. Uh -huh. No, yeah, no, Ty, Ty does it. Yeah, Ty, Ty blows into the whistle. Yeah, it wakes it up and, and blue eyes, white power dragon. Friendship. Yep. Yeah, Exodia. The forbidden nobody one. Nobody is going to understand dragon. any of this. No, no one is going to. That's too nerdy. It, okay, so for the, for the two dozen <laughs> people out there that watched Digimon in the early two thousands and also saw the movie. You, you know what we're talking about. So for like the two people out there, I believe in you. Anyway. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, literally um, you two. <laughs> I got known for um, making uh, my robots, but they were wearable. And I called them, uh, originally they're called, I think it's still called. Digimon. Okay? No. <laughs> digital monsters. <laughs> yeah, I was making digital monsters. That's actually more programming, think, if you think about it, that somehow becomes physical. Embedded through... hardware monsters. M M Emba hard mon. Hard monster. <laughs> hard mon. <laughs> yes, tell us more about the hard mons you're making. <laughs> <laughs> the hard ones that I'm making happen. No, I'm <laughs> no uh, originally, it's like a parrot on your shoulder, basically. Yeah, pretty much. It's like a parrot on my shoulder type of situation. Oh, FPG we could have just animals. said that about FPG 10 minutes FPG ago. FPG yeah, animals. but we have FPG, FPG, FPG but, animals. Yeah, Alan. <laughs> Gotta program them off. Yeah. <laughs> 
Digikey. <laughs> yeah, Digi <laughs> oh, has Digikey ever thought to do the Digimon rap, but with Digikey instead of Digimon? I mean, two you, dozen Digi people. They don't have the ball. Yeah, that's Digi a lot. Key, if you're key watching this, you have the digital keysters. Digikey is the Digi key, uh, Don't give it to them for free. Yeah, Digikey. Digikey taping is. roll. <laughs> <laughs> Well, maybe. We'll see how that works out. Anyway. Oh, God. Good I'm going to use that now. I'm going to go ahead and say it's good because... <laughs> I'll do it for a box of random components that people send back. Ooh. <laughs> you know, that is a thing that I thought that we should probably start doing in the future. If I ever Mystery get, box? Yeah, we're just giving people some, some like components and stuff and they do things. Just be like, hey, and they have cool to make stuff. something out of it and then they get another box for free. I think they have. I think Adafruit had a box system like that already. Mm. But we're I think I've heard of something yeah. like that. But anyway, we got off topic. Yeah, uh, this person oh, knew me from. Um, yeah. That's the point. I want me making my robot free stuff. That's where I'm getting. Yeah, your your hard mods. <laughs> yeah, my hard mods. You can go ahead and call it that. But yeah, I focused mainly on building robotic stuff, and originally I focused on making robots that were wearable. So I would design my first one was a giant spider robot, and I designed it to sit on my shoulder. Mm -hmm. and that's what it would just do. It'll just sit on my shoulder and just look at people, and everyone mm. loved it. <laughs> Can you can you look that up? I don't think I've seen it before. We just Thanks, we Adam. learned recently that uh, Adam doesn't like. He's not a fan of the podcast. <laughs> He's not a fan. Of, oh, no, oh, no, it's not the podcast. It's, it's the people on the podcast. Yeah, it's maybe a specific person on the podcast. <laughs> oh, who's a specific person? Yes. Uh, <laughs> if you had Wait, to guess, me. if you had to guess, who does Adam Savage uh, not like <laughs> the most? The, I don't know the man that well enough to make that accusation. I, I love that answer. I'm here for this answer. I really like that. <laughs> You're I'm, right. It's it's none of us. Nobody. He loves all of us. Equally. That's yeah. okay. He doesn't watch this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, a spider. <laughs> yeah. That's that yours? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's pretty sick. Oh, that was awesome. Yeah. It just sits around. Looks I haven't like, seen this one. Yeah, it just looks around, sits on my head sometimes. Which is, was this the first one or is that like an iteration? That's the iteration. This is nice. the oh, it's got a huge ass. <laughs> yeah. I put the circuit back there. <laughs> oh, that makes yeah. sense. It's brain is in there. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, but that was one of my favorite ones. And yeah, that was a that was a good time. I was happy I got invited out to do that. You know, he's never invited me out to do anything. No. <laughs> you answered two questions at once. <laughs> <laughs> would you build us all robot familiars so that adam savage will invite us to test it and so we can show off our robot familiars i mean let's be like real a, like a um i don't really think well maybe william <laughs> um what did what i do the fuck what did robot? i do really <laughs> get out <laughs> alan with all due respect i know you long enough at this point that i can happily say um, you're too busy for it, and oh, no. too, you can't no. afford it. No, I'm just, oh, <laughs> those are both true. Those are both of those things. And are like, true. don't get me wrong, you make cool stuff, but they function for the video. They're for not, true. for the a whole sake of philosophy. argument, it has to work once. Yeah. What, what do you, when you thought about making a robot familiar? Did you think about like sort of your personality? Like, yeah. like if you did that for someone else, like what kind of familiars do you think we would have? Uh, for people who always start off, I always tell them who want to make their own. I say, look at an animal and okay. they try to do biomimicry from that. Okay. Like, what type of animal do you really enjoy or type of bug, creature, whatever, and then make that based off of that. Like a big fuzzy moth. Uh, <laughs> that would be e That's actually easy. Oh, shit. Uh, design wise and everything. A moth how about something design? cooler than a praying mantis? That would be hilarious because like if you have a praying mantis on your shoulder, make sure it don't turn too far because it will stab you in the face. <laughs> is that a you problem? You like little like scyther Yes, that's a problem I have. Out it's like, that. It's, it's it's like, like a snapple fact. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> if, if, if it's on your shoulder, be prepared. If it moves too far to your face, it will punch you, stab Stabbed you. you. Okay, it's yeah. going to have exacto knives for, for hands, for blades. We're going to be taking you to the emergency room. <laughs> You'll be like, what happened? He's praying Mintz's companion robot, stabbed him in the face. I think uh, uh, Kevin's, I'm just going to make him up here. Kevin, you would have a, a, a recreation of the demon core on your shoulder that would occasionally <laughs> okay, open up. Okay. Smoke comes and out. say something, yeah, and then it would close again. My God. <laughs> That's just epic. like glow blue. There's some tweaked out little raccoon. <laughs> that would be hilarious. It's like actually, the arm comes actually, up every once in a while with just like a crack pipe. Actually, just like a live squirrel <laughs> runs, that runs around. <laughs> An actual real it's squirrel. actually a real squirrel. Yeah, it's like, like, he just oh, has a you, wheel. He just has a spinning wheel. You did such a good look, job look, on look that. Behind <laughs> you. Look behind you. Look at the top of the sign you oh. see that? it's a, that's a real pikachu it's that's a, the that's world's mo only real pikachu a, I, I, there we go wow yeah, yeah, look yeah. that actually yeah. that works yeah see? i could see that yeah that's a so good funny. hard mon 
<laughs> don't say that. that. <laughs> I'm trying to think, I, I haven't figured out what animal I would I would pick. I don't know. It's sort of. I'm trying to think of like. Oh sort wait, of what worst. about a little like, uh, like it's one of those uh, a koala, big, big booby anime figurine, <gasps> but you articulate it so it can move around and there say stuff. There is a person who does that. Oh already. god, oh, yeah. No. You can of course. Look that How did we big not know titty already? Moth girlfriend. <laughs> big titty moth girl. God. Big titty goth moth girlfriend. <laughs> See, the funny thing that you mentioned that is like the reason I Someone's always done avoid that too, huh? human, <laughs> Damn it. the reason I always avoid humanoid designs and all my robots is for this conversation. It's hard oh, so <laughs> when you're when you're adding when you're I mean, you extruding. Gave the spider a big butt. You have to have a lot it's of self control to not. More people have arachnophobia than anything. I well, I feel like but less people would ask you if you fucked a spider than if you. What, had a little wait, what's woman that called? Shoulder. Arachnophobia. What's the opposite? Arachnophilia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Into, Let's into go. Spider. <laughs> The human race, everybody. This, this is the human race. You don't really yeah. hear that one used a lot, do you? No, it's, just, it's fine. It's fine. Digimon. Yeah. Digi key. Digital keys. Digital keys. Digi key is the champion. God. Safe place. Safe place. Safe place. <laughs> Uh, oh no, this component is back ordered. <laughs> the component is back ordered. Can we talk shit about DigiKey? Oh yeah, yeah go what for was it, the, I guess. I mean, are you talking about the thing that happened with the Mr. Beast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah, yeah I want to hear about that. So one time we ordered like 500 components and they came individually back. Oh right, you, you messaged yeah. me complaining about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, what am I supposed to do? I don't right? know, you work for them. Yeah, yeah okay, you, let me, let me, let me get my line. powerful staff and be like, <laughs> DigiKey, how dare they? You, you know, don't have a direct line to Mr. DigiKey, you must, right? The Whoever Digi Mr. DigiMan? Digi I assume Digi. that the head of DigiKey is named like Jonathan DigiKey I work in marketing, sir. I don't. Is no one there has a last name of DigiKey? Not that I know of. Why is it called DigiKey then? Because Jesus. the owner who made the uh, entire company started off in his basement making digital keys. Oh wait, what? is that seriously how it started? What? I think it was um he was like RFID, a key not parts? RFID. I forgot what they call those things. Uh, S O S O. Oh, dot, those dot, like dot, little dot. keys where you like it gives you like six digits on it and they just, like a secure key login uh, thing. No, it's um dot dot zero dot dot zero dot dot zero. I forgot what it's called. Wait, FC? what are you? Are you loading information right now? <laughs> No, it's are you, are you uploading G code for your mouth? <laughs> how I remember things better is I attach memories of things to different things, and the thing this is attached to is um, the way people. A sexy spider. <laughs> Well, the one in the blue bikini. Now you can't stop thinking about a sexy spider. No, I can easily stop thinking about a sexy spider because spiders aren't sexy. Um, <laughs> dot, dot, zero, but now you have that connection. It was a code that we used anime, it in World like War a, II. A memory a palace thing. No, it's a type of code. Is it a binary code? No. <laughs> it's dot dot Hex. zero dot dot zero dot dot zero. Uh, Nate's probably listening to this Name right now, and he's Hex. probably screaming. And I am so sorry, Nate. Uh, Nate Digikey. <laughs> uh, it's literally my my best friend at work. Your name is Nate, and he listens to you guys constantly. So he's gonna see this. Sorry, yes. Nate. Oh God, yeah. Sorry, Nate. I feel like the Digikey employees are either mad or they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nobody cares about your stupid digital keys. Yeah, I'm, hey. I feel like half my jobs would have been like, yeah, get out. <laughs> Uh, Nate, if you're listening, Give me a raise. Uh, leave a comment with whatever animal you'd have sex with if it was a robot. Yeah, and then and then immediately go and ask for a raise. <laughs> you know, it's funny because, like I said before, the reason I avoid humanoid designs is because people like Alan. Because if it looks too humanoid, you're gonna try to bang it. Are bugs animals? Bugs are wait, technically they're insects. Are bugs, bugs animals? Bugs are animals. Well, I don't know. They're animals. That's why I asked. No, it's a different kingdom. Yeah, than animal. Insects. I think yeah. so. Isn't but it just like plants and animals? And that's like if you the go back divide? further, are vegetables animals? They're insects. I think insects are animals. Are, are okay. plants? Yeah, they're technically animals, I guess. Yeah. I guess so. Does that have Insect, a smiley face? Animal. Smiley face on its wing? Oh, it's like a yellow. Oh my god, dot. it's a kawaii animal. A kawaii bug. What is that? Is kawaii that a mantis? It looks like a mantis. Kawaii mantis? <laughs> you know, honestly, we should be really happy that a lot of bugs look that small because if those were actually like humanoid size, we'd they be wouldn't, so They screwed. wouldn't move very well. <laughs> Yeah, true, but if they somehow did, we'd be still screwed. We'd be giga screwed. If I if I make <laughs> a big one of mantis. those on my shoulder, will will Mr. DigiKey hire me to to work for Mr. DigiKey? No. No. Even I know the answer to that one. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, do you are you are you in trouble? Are you in trouble, man? Do you need some money? You got, got some happening no. to you? No, no, I don't want your fucking seems, dirty DigiKey money. <laughs> it seems like it seems like something's going on right now. Man. Are you all right? Are you okay? Do you need like to talk? a fucking <laughs> missing a tooth, <laughs> moth flying out of my pocket. Do you need me to pockets. talk off camera, my man? Like, you okay? That was that was you Alan. Okay? That was Alan five years ago. Yeah. Alan today. Is yeah. Alan. Now now the moths are not in my pockets anymore. <laughs> <laughs> they already stole my money. Yeah. Like, man, if you got desperate for money, you know, I know some people. 
Oh my God. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but if you have money. But, hey, if, but you, if you have money, I'll, I'll, I'll take I'm the not, money. I'm not here to judge, my man. I'm just saying. So wait, it was that all of the, all of the, did you, you, you bought like all of the products in North America or like they were packaged wrong or like, what was the thing with? For the with, bags? Yeah. Mm. So we, we needed, well, okay, this is actually a whole shit So you had to pick in place. Yeah, you had to get a, stuff. It to actually started, it started pretty, it started pretty hot. Uh, it started somewhere where it shouldn't have started. So we we needed to fab these boards. We had to have um we had the boards manufactured. We needed the parts, and they have to be assembled. And for whatever reason, we found an, an assembler in Arizona. I don't even know how much of this I went into in the video. Probably not because there's too many things. <laughs> um, and so we ordered from DigiKey and shipped it directly to the fab the assembler in Arizona. Mm -hmm. And then we realized that it was actually a better idea to use this assembler in Colorado that we ended up going to. Mm -hmm. And so I said, yo, DigiKey, I need to change the address. Uh, you know, I, I ordered this in the last 12 hours. I know that it hasn't left. Can I change the address? And I said, no, it's, we can't do that. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck do you mean you can't do it? It hasn't even left the warehouse yet. Like, you can't change the address. Put a different of, label like, on the box. Like, I don't even think it was in the box yet. I'm not oh, even sure. Yeah, yeah. Like, it once it was picked. in the system. And so then what happened was uh, that, that went out. It shipped in it Arizona. Shipped. I couldn't stop it. I couldn't even stop it. I couldn't reroute it. And that box had all of the diodes that we needed, and there was no more left. <laughs> oh, no. And so um, you couldn't send another right. equivalent shipment to Colorado. Right. And the problem with that is the diodes that we used are the ones that we had done on the prototype board. And so picking a different diode is, an, I don't remember what it was. It might have been a MOSFET. It's like you don't want to do that. Right. If yeah. you had one, you had an ID, and it worked, just stick with it. Um, and they wouldn't reroute it. Anyways, that's that's God. one thing. And then the second one was that all the parts came in uh, individually bagged. And it was like 500. <laughs> <laughs> so you had to open up every single... I didn't do it. They did it, though. Oh, they the did assemblers did. It was did. bad. They did it, like, it, they stayed up all night. Literally pulled an all-nighter pulling bags out. But was that your fault because you didn't choose like the tape and reel option? No. Or? Honestly, uh, that should get flagged by the system. Oh, if you if you order like thousands of something, yeah, and it like sends them, it's not Tries to bag to be, them, yeah. Like it should just like, or, yeah. Are you sure you want this? It was definitely an error. Yeah, I'm not saying hey, I'm not here to defend them on. And then I, and I, 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 I emailed them, and they were just like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> I, there's, there's only so much people can do in different departments. The problem with having such a big company like that is that exact reason yeah like i work in marketing so i can get stuff done for marketing's benefit but when it comes to bigger stuff like that that's a sales problem right so like they would have to go to sales and figure out that whole thing and so go through. you could you could change the digikey theme song into the digimon theme song that's um, like one you of would the have things. to pay for legal rights that we do not own and then also i'm not about to spend that much for a digi rap we'll just have them <laughs> have them that spend it yeah probably cheaper to pay for the lawyer's fees and to pay for the rights <laughs> yes yeah. oh so, yeah they cease and desist and you just stop using it yeah yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, shouldn't it be you a pay parody? for forgiveness, no, not permission? Not. You get a couple weeks you and you for stop. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because that's marketing. That's that's straight up. How much how much money is in the marketing department for Digimon <laughs> rap? Hey, you know what? I'll bring it up in the next meeting. We'll see. What you we know, can they do. probably they're like, somebody I, please use this song. Like <laughs> well, they're hurting. They've got moths coming out of their pocket. At the same time, like not many people actually like know what Digi or Digimon is at that point. There's there's this uh, this like yeah. uh, ferrite material supplier. And if you go on their website, it automatically p plays like the James Bond MIDI theme song. Oh. And it's like, so every time you go on there, it just like auto plays the okay. song. First of all, that's horrible. It's horrible. Yeah, that's that really was, bad. That that that's like really bad. It reminds you of uh -huh. like, like, a, like GeoCities or Angel Fire, yeah. like early, uh. early Web.1 or whatever. It reminds me of MySpace music. Yeah. You have your little profile and every time someone uh. your profile, the I'm, song I'm honestly glad that yep. someone is still brave enough to do that kind of shit with their website. I you, know what? you can't even do it like the browser doesn't support it anymore so it just downloads the file <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so now i'm up to like bonds 20 parentheses on my computer you get a, a notification from your browser that says this website is not secure would you like to proceed uh no it just downloads <laughs> it just straight up oh downloads of music a midi file uh -huh. that's a that is awesome that's a red flag is there a way that is there wait is there a safety third website yeah. Is there a way that we can make the safety third <laughs> website automatically download the Digimon theme song in MIDI? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Who gets in trouble for that? Everybody? I mean, <laughs> Nobody. I, I want to point out to any uh, lawyers looking at this, I am not involved in this. Uh, uh, this can we can we plan. label the 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 file by Dravon Moss? <laughs> <laughs> as as I will send you a Do you think they actually <laughs> did you lawyer will actually look at this? Probably. Oh, what's the worst thing we could say to them? Uh 
Jeez. Uh, other than like saying like competitors, um, mm. can we implicate DigiKey in any kind of like global event or a war crime or something? Yeah. I'm oh wait, is, does is DigiKey used by like a d any defense companies like Boeing or like is yeah. there DigiKey components in missiles? Have to be. Oh, absolutely, a hundred percent. Because they sell like the space. And aerospace versions of components. Oh yeah, yeah, aerospace components, sure. I'm kind of curious. So, do you guys just antagonize people? Yes. Yeah. We have an episode titled uh, "Traumatizing Tom Scott for 50 Minutes." <laughs> oh, so that's what it is. I was curious. Oh. <laughs> well, I mean, I think it's more like uh, we're we're antagonizing with people, not right. antagonizing yeah. at people. I this is actually job security. Is, is, does that make you feel better? No. Yeah. Okay. Stop I admit, yeah. <laughs> exactly. 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 You know, I recommend you guys. You guys can have like a therapist on here. I would Who? love to see. Having... No, that this is this is our group therapy. Yes. This is your group therapy. Yeah. Yeah, we, yeah. This is where we work out our demons here. This is your chance to complain about stuff and get it out of your system. Yeah. Oh, I have so... another complaint about Digi. <laughs> <laughs> the the, the filtering is. Why is the filtering so slow? Oh, when it comes to the website stuff, yeah. we can't touch that. Um, every time uh -huh. someone messes with the website, we get a whole bunch of angry emails from. Hmm. Nerds. We all from William Osman. <laughs> <laughs> all from William Osman. Yep, William Osman just floods our mailbox. It's all him. I tried sorting once and it just sat there and I was like, nah, fuck this. <laughs> I just closed the Didn't even do the project. I just scrapped the whole thing. Hey. Anyways, that's is. probably actually the only feedback I really have is the filtering should be faster. <laughs> and better. I'll deal with the bags. Because sometimes you want to search for something and it's like, you know, say you want, I don't know, like a, a style of transistor. It's like TO-247. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you'll find stuff that just says TO-247 or uh, TO space 247. You got to go find all yeah. of those. Well, the problem with user interfaces in general is... But that's like a probably... Lot of, well, yeah, one, it can be easily fixed when people, you know, actually complain. It's probably about. like the people that are like giving you the part have to fill out like a form or mm -hmm. something and then they don't do it. I don't know. I don't know on that price. I only know about the UI stuff and I only know that the reason we haven't really changed the website a lot is because a lot of our um, people who buy from us are like really old engineers. Oh, oh that's so yeah. Ways. So like Full when, of lead. if we change anything, <clears throat> apparently they're not website. ROHS compliant. No. <laughs> so we've just learned to just accept it for what it is for right now and then we'll upgrade as we go. But you 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 have access like you're allowed to just get DigiKey stuff, right? Like you have access to their full catalog and you just tell them like, I need these things and mm -hmm. they just give them to you, right? Yeah, they do that for you too. They just take your credit card. Oh, yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> yeah. I could do it too. It only cost more money. Wait, but what if, like the military stuff then? What even I is that? I what even is I military I don't, stuff? I don't need to know. Hey, what well, I don't know. No, what? Don't know. You don't they, get act, you don't get, have like that's not on the list of the things that oh, you can get from DigiKey. Have you considered just like getting stuff and then reselling it? No. <laughs> that's like what you on could probably double your income. That's you what they used to do. You know how lazy I am? Uh, Very. Uh, <laughs> um, pretty much one that would cost way too much too. I'm like a dragon with parts. If mm. someone gives me parts, even though I may not use it for years, I will be like, "This is mine." Mm, yes. Mm. yes. There's something nice about having it and not needing it, and then just being mine. It's mine. Do you like it's to take mine. take components off uh, circuit boards and organize them? I've done that before. Yes. I, you yeah. can do lazy. <laughs> it's kind of therapeutic. That's not lazy. <laughs> it is lazy. What are you talking about? That's I am, high effort. Well, high effort for me is more like I have to. Let's let's say I do do that. Let's yeah. say I do order a whole bunch of stuff and decide to resell them. I have to literally. Put an ad out there. Find people who want to do it, eBay. and then have them have to send it out. I have to get up, go to a, a UPS place to do all of that. I am lazy, and I don't like interacting with people to that point, extent. I'm just like, <laughs> do you guys? Do you ever like hear about counterfeit components and stuff like that? Like, yeah, Ooh, that. it's it's actually like a really big deal right now. Is like counterfeit computer chips and like components and like even diodes and Man. capacitors. Oh yeah, you remember I'll, the, the like, FTDI debacle. <clears throat> Oh, I don't oh yeah, yeah. So F that. FTDI really is is F FTDI is the company. It's, is the name of the chip? What is it? It was. It, I think it was the company and also like a specific chip because that's what converted serial it's, to USB. Yeah, it's right? like the yeah, it's the serial, USB serial, the USB to serial, the like RS two three two or whatever. Yeah, yeah, because back in the day, like you were expected to program a microcontroller off a serial port, right? Mm -hmm. And then that stopped being a thing, but the architecture was still there. Except that computers had USB. Right. And so it was like a chip that would communicate when you had to program like an Arduino. Right. Oh. So it would convert your USB signal to a signal that the Arduino can receive that you, well, because <laughs> then there's the bootloader. So the bootloader, anyways. Um, yeah, what, is, what even is a bootloader? A bootloader is software that lives on the computer that gets the computer started. And so mm. the microprocessor 
on its own, you have to use special hardware to program it. But if you have a bootloader, the bootloader is a little piece of software that activates the serial lines that then pulls data from the USB port that's been converted to serial and then loads it into memory. So it literally is programming the rest of the memory. It's like, imagine the okay. top is a piece of code that will that's take like serial input into... and then write it into the, mm. the memory space. Oh. And it was like a few years ago, like the legit, because like there were, there were counterfeit FTDI. No, no, it was counterfeit Arduino Neon boards, boards. Yeah, that, that yeah, had the Neon onboard board. FTDIs that were they were those party. were counterfeit the fdis yeah. were counterfeit yeah. so they, they pretended to be an actual name brand chip yes and then what the company did the fdi is that the actual company i can't I think it is they they were mad at that so they said anything that like we're going to have a new way to establish whether it's a real chip or not mm. and anything that has a counterfeit chip just won't work yeah and so then you get a bunch of people who are buying yeah. stuff that they have no idea has counterfeit chips in it because it ends up in end products mm -hmm. and then their shit there was a that was a big i remember oh that. that's I that's mean, right because even on the arduino ide <clears throat> you can select like the yeah. old bootloader yeah. right yeah. or something like yeah. that so does that have imagine to uh no i think that's a little bit y'all you know, maybe yeah because the uh, new bootloaders maybe work with a different different chips yeah but I, some, I don't know imagine you buy a car and you go to drive it, and then one of the manufacturers of one of the chips says, one of these parts is counterfeit, and then your car just doesn't <laughs> You're like, good job, great. It was yeah, like, ho, ho. It was Anyways. just the fact that it would like it would brick the device. Like it's it's yeah. like you yeah. couldn't even like you didn't have any other option. It was just like, well, this thing is just dead now. Because you had the audacity to like maybe try and buy something cheaper or like something that you didn't even necessarily know was counterfeit. Right. Yeah. yeah. So I think that the newer ones, they have like just different drivers because there's like there were a couple of like chinese chips like yeah, they had yeah. different drivers and i remember buying some arduinos that had them i'm like i couldn't get it to program i couldn't get it to pop i'm like what the hell is going on right and then i you know you go and you look at the ic and it's like like ch4 yeah or yeah and i'm like oh and then i you know it took me a couple hours but then you can find the driver somewhere on some random website you download <laughs> and then it works again yeah. as if the ftd had never huh. existed jeez it's, that's so much work though for all of that <laughs> uh. you know if you just bought the name brand arduino yeah, dude like, they're like 30 bucks <laughs> i know right they are like, hey hey as a person who grew up poor and still technically poor legally <laughs> uh, legally poor <laughs> what is what is the 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 not on paper part of this oh no you I cash always, rich no i always make the joke saying legally poor because i am um intellectually rich okay i got you. Uh, I got you. I got you. that's a nice spin that's a glass half full i'm i'm poor everywhere <laughs> yeah yeah no no i make the joke intellectually, constantly intellectually the only morally reason... financially <laughs> well i'm not surprised uh, by that part sexually um, se sexually <laughs> no god until i make that little that little robot <laughs> Oh, don't even get me started. <laughs> I won't <video>. stop. <laughs> Making a robot no, that makes me um, happy. The only reason I'm able to afford my small lifestyle is because I have adult dates because I am lazy and I have zero kids because I am lazy. Mm. So having kids is easy. Do you kind of make like the robots for like, like, do you make robots? You can have kids and make a girlfriend robot. Like, could you, mm. have you ever considered building a whole robot family then? See, I thought about that. But sounds like an Elon all, Musk that thing. like a problem that you might want to talk to a therapist for. <laughs> and then two, mass producing. So the robot could do therapy. Yeah. What if you build a robot therapist? Uh, uh, then you've got the, it, what if well, you just. Well, that's the problem with that because then you have to have like pops. Thanks to pop culture, we have pop psychology. So how do I know that my machine learning program is making the right choices when it comes to learning psychiatry and not learning how like Venus is out of order? So suddenly your mom smacked well, you. Well, you put that into the <laughs> chat GPT prompt. You just say, yes. make sure it doesn't include any pop psychology yeah. and then and make it enter. hot so you don't really care. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> you're also, like, yeah, whatever. Speak like you're a sexy therapist. Like a, like a French producer. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I said that, it once. That, I'll there's say no before. continuity. No one's going to know what that <laughs> reference means. This oh, might well. come up, but who knows? <laughs> Therapy only really works in my opinion when you decide that you need help right yeah it's when chat gpt says that you that need it's to time. get help we, we, yeah we, we, it's fine you cope through your way manic things so but you, Helen, it's but time a psychologist for your <laughs> you build yourself your robot kids you build yourself your robot wife you build yourself your robot therapist you uh make sure tells all you of you're your, seriously messed up <laughs> yeah everything everything you just order so it shows up at your door your groceries your digi key devices you just uh you replace your entire life with digimon uh 
Uh, then you're finally happy. Okay. Yeah. Then let me. Let is me. That, is let, that, let me is ask that, you this. Is that the goal? <laughs> uh, why would I want robotic kids when I don't want real ones? Because well, you could just turn them. You unplug them. Yeah. The, <laughs> yeah. But they're, they're still kids. They'll still have that annoying function of being kids. Well, you got to plug them back in. That happen. Yeah. But why do you're I? Like want, you know what? I, would, dad why, needs why, a break. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. I can plug them back in. Uh -huh. They're, they're well, fine. I think. I intentionally avoid humanoid designs because of this conversation, and also I'm afraid Alan's going to touch it. You corrupted the bootloader. Uh oh. When I when I when I got a Game Boy, I was like in second grade. Um, actually, it's a stupid story. My parents, we were okay. My parents were in Hawaii uh -huh. and we had school. My dad was doing a job in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. And so we flew up the week after. And so we we're like kids, you know, grandma uh -huh. takes us to the airport, you get on a plane. It's like two kids on a plane from California to Hawaii. First time you're flying alone. And so we had like goodie bags my parents had made. Mm -hmm. And somehow we did not find in the goodie bag on the flight that there were a, a Game Boy for each of what? us. Yeah. And so when How we finally got to bags? Hawaii, <laughs> then we realized, dude, I, I don't have any explanation. Then we found the Game Boys. Um, my actual story, though, is I was playing Pokemon and I was afraid to pull the cartridge out. Oh, yeah. Because you don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Like, I had a feeling, well, if I pull it out, then maybe like I have, it starts over. Like, I can't. I mean, I uh, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, anyways, I was, you know, but if you had robot kids, I'm pretty sure you could turn them off. And be <laughs> I my brain doesn't work that way. <laughs> I, I I've, I've just accepted the fact that when it comes to those type of concepts, I personally don't need nor want them. And right. my love for being of robots, it does come from a sense of loneliness. But at the same time, making a robot friend is a lot more entertaining than making a human one that you have to feed, take care of forever. I can build a robot that's based off of my own skills and knowledge and also have to worry about that if something breaks, it's more of my fault instead of me being a bad parent. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> How do you feel I, about Elon's uh, Tesla robot? Still weird. I don't like humanoid designs in any mm. robots. Like I always said this before, the reason um, a lot of robots are scary to a lot of people is because uh, pop culture for one, and then two, it's a it looks human. Mm. Like if you give it a jacket or like a hat or something, and then like have it chase you, this thing is creepy right. as hell. But your robots still have personalities and stuff. You ever get worried that like they'll 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 break or like stop functioning or like because like Will's story made me think. I feel like that's. That's like a, a, a canon moment for a lot of kids is like the first time you like lose a save file for a game. Mm. Yeah, see, like I it's backed corrupted up or everything I do now. So I, your robots do have like I literally have a flash drive in my pocket with my robot's brain on it <laughs> right now, <laughs> right now. And that's like like Big Hero Six, like like just yeah, in case your 100%. robot. <laughs> if my ro something happens to my robot, if I'm away from it, if I'm like flying somewhere, I have the STL files, I have the code. All I really need is the bo the board and I can rebuild it. So, so you can you like bird the robot. You're like the mom. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but so, is it like up to date? Do you, you know, like does, well, it doesn't have any up, memory, right? I always upgraded. In the last one I built, um, I named him Marvin, and Marvin had uh, Chat GPT AI in it. Uh -huh. but okay. It wasn't the smartest thing ever. Does it like write to internal memory? So it like it remembers stuff. Yeah, I was okay, able to okay. teach it a few different things. Why wasn't? Like, did you ask for it to not be smart? No, it was more like I was trying to teach it, but I was trying to teach it in a very analog way. So I was mm. talking to it every day. I took like 30 minutes out through my day and just talked to my robot and it would be like, hey, what's this? Hey, what's this? What and do you think about this? It would stay in the same like uh, chat with chat. GPT, like the same log because yeah, exactly. that's that's where like it can remember things. Yeah. Oh, OK, so uh, that was cool. But the thing about it is the more you actually built AI and work with AI, you learn that you have nothing to worry about AI taking over the world. Because <laughs> it's just not like, like Terminator that. style. Yeah. yeah. No, if, if it gets to that point, which I always say too, if it gets to a point where your robot can question, I am, a, am I alive? It's no longer a robot. It's a person. I'm sorry. We we're done here. You have rights. I guarantee <laughs> social security. I, card. I'll, put, <laughs> I'll put my <laughs> life on birthday. this. We're going to have AI sex robots before we have an AI takeover. You know, the scary huh. thing about, well, why that? do you think they take over? Yeah. Well, <laughs> I think that's, I, that is I, the that's, order that I, that's it would all go I'm in. Saying is that's the order it's going to go in. You know, <laughs> The thing about that is it's something that I find very interesting about humans because I always thought if I wanted to mass produce a species, all I have to do is make reproduction, you know, feel good. What? And then you guys will do the rest. I have a question. <laughs> Wait, actually, I don't have a question. <laughs> what? Will you make, make the robot? Well, if you make any type of like reproduction feel good, like there's right. a sense of like this is rewarding to me, right. you guys will constantly do it. Well, Isn't that how it works? Yeah, Will's the only person here who actually has experience. Yeah. I still feel bad. <laughs> Well, <laughs> I mean, it's not always true because there are other species who mate to then die. So like uh, pandas, pandas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they just they their sex needs to feel better, I guess, because that's like the problem. Right? They don't really oh. do it. Or even like mantis, you know, you get laid one time. She eats your head right after. <laughs> it must be amazing. Can you imagine how good praying mantis sex must feel yeah. for it to Black be worth? Widow? 
oh god that must the final the up. last hurrah no, nothing is worth that people nothing bees, is worth that. bees do the same go, thing go, let's go yeah so bees? like yeah Oh, they mate once, like yeah. the the males. Yeah, and then like his whole thing, his whole junk comes out, stays attached to the queen. That's got the workers wow. have to pull it back out. When, when I she love gets that back. it could just also not work like that. And somehow I know, right? And like somehow that. like that's no, it probably feels like an orgasm combined with taking the biggest fucking dump of your entire <laughs> life, getting you like all your sex her. organs ripped out of your body. You like lose eighty percent of your body <laughs> yeah. mass. Just, oh, it's a big one coming up. <laughs> oh, the title of this episode: Honey Nut Cheerios. <laughs> <laughs> It probably it should be called my middle school high feels, science class. That's going to feel better for that bug than anything we could ever experience for it to be worth point, shitting out all of your guts getting point out. is you Honey can nut? definitely make it happen a lot faster if you want something to reproduce that fast. <laughs> um, the thing I mean, with monkeys, robotics and stuff like that. We can just throw rocks better than monkeys. That's why. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Arms are pretty I high. think monkeys are, are pretty horny. I, I'm still trying to figure out the whole time travel thing that way I can kind of see the evolution of humankind. But once I figure that out, I'll have an answer for you. Okay. Um, let me know tomorrow. <laughs> no, let, let us know Wait, yesterday. Let us know, yeah. Yeah. Let us know yesterday. Let us know yesterday when yesterday. you worked that out. Yeah, I worked that out. I'll, figure, I'll let you know. But, Jordan, oh, I, mean, I have a bad news. I don't remember you telling us this <laughs> yeah. yesterday, which either means you never did it or you died somewhere in the really process. Do you think I would give you guys that information? Out of all the people uh, that no. I know that I can talk to about knowing about time travel, you think I will go to Alan and be like, Alan, Alan, guess what? I figured out the rules of the universe. I can now time travel. You'd be the last people I tell. You know how fast I'd be on YouTube? Wait, that would mean that you got rich. I wouldn't get rich. Why would you get rich? Would you because keep it to yourself? Travel? The whole point of having that type of ability is one, keeping to yourself. Two, if you do anything <laughs> that's out of the ordinary, people pay attention. You don't have to get that rich, though. Couple million, yeah, couple, a couple, couple million. Couple I wouldn't tell anybody. I wouldn't, yeah. exactly. I'm just well, saying that. It, also, it's still, if you could time travel, you definitely wouldn't be here right now. No, I'll still be here. No. Possible deny. Oh, to make it make it consistent it's an alibi. looking. Well, okay. not consistent I looking, see. but also it's the whole timeline thing. Because like, if I oh screw the timeline, here, I want to see what right. happens. No, yeah, yeah. I don't want to see what happens because if it does work, then I'm happy. If it doesn't work, we have a neutron star. So yeah, no, I could definitely see how if you weren't here, then Vladimir Putin would somehow become god king of the world or something. <laughs> Could well, be worse. It's, it's, it's the whole right? thing with the uh, butterfly flap. Well, um, you <laughs> think you think it's just like a simple one thing leads to another, but it's actually more of a ripple effect. It's more like throwing a pebble in the water. You don't know what type of waves you're creating. Yeah, and that's future use problem. Though. Yeah, that right. does not. I live, I, do I live in the moment. You know, as a moment, as a person who enjoys the person I am today and really does not like my younger self, <gasps> um, I will not put that on future me because future me will probably have a really good right hook. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. I mean, you haven't you haven't yet developed it, but you're pretty sure in the future you're going to. I will start right working hook. out <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> hey, it's all fun and games until future you shows up and just like, oh, hey, why did you do this? Oh, dude, I bet future <laughs> me is going to be so good at karate. Yeah, future me is going to have a six pack. Future me is going to oh, probably yeah. have scoliosis. <laughs> Uh, future me might when have you, diabetes. Well, that, that might be future me is definitely gonna have diarrhea. Let's be honest. When do you guys actually really think about the future? Well, like define think about the future. We, we do it on the podcast about the sometimes. Yeah, because it's just something you do. But then you guys are getting the moment, and you guys just kind of run. But you, you oh, ever think, really stop? I think everything's gonna be fine. Oh no, I'm not about that. I'm oh, like about generally them, speaking, as, I mean them personally. Like I think about Alan, Alan in the future, about five years from now. How do you dead, imagine yourself? Dead. Dead. Oh, God. Maybe dead. I mean, you never oh know, God. right? <laughs> Great high school answer. Moving on. Uh, oh, wait. I know. In a mirror. Oh, let's go. Honestly, I had higher hopes for you. <laughs> I, I think I, I have two I have two modes of operation. I think 10 years in the future and 10 seconds in the future. Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm in 10 seconds in the future. Yeah. Okay, fair, 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 fair. Okay. When I, I'm trying to fall asleep tonight, then I'll be 10 years in the future. And then I won't sleep at all. Then I'll well, wake up and go. With stuff with open sauce, I was just kind of hoping that in the future, you'd be more of a person who, you know, helps other people do more YouTube stuff, get their stuff out there, you know. What do you mean helps them do YouTube stuff? Or more inspires them to do YouTube stuff. Yeah. You know, okay. make them want to come to open source. Right, know? right. Make a type of uh, area that makes people feel comfortable showing up and showing off their project in such a manner. Yeah. I don't know what we're going to do with Alan, but. Um, uh, oh, he'll be dead. Don't worry about it. Yeah, don't worry about it. I'm, I'm going to die in open source three. There'll be a tragic <laughs> accident. I can foresee it already. You know if that happens, that's in open source. Like if someone dies at the event. No. Not if it's one of us. Oh, no way. Have you seen half the Hollywood deaths where the stunt people get just like eviscerated? And somehow oh, wait, the movie? Did you see the Harry Potter thing? The, the, I didn't watch the it, but I did read about no, that. No, yeah, it, read. It's pretty brutal. Yeah, Is it no. bad? Well, no, it's just that they, they like, 
like, you know, there was a stunt guy who was uh, Daniel Radcliffe's stunt double in Harry Potter. And in one of the like uh, practice stunts, it went wrong and he ended up uh, paralyzed from the neck down. And so it was just showing sort of like his life now and just... <laughs> It just like is bad. It just sucks. Like, what was the sucks. stunt? Like, it was it was supposed to be like riding a broom. N- it was like a straightforward <laughs> one, and that's why it's dangerous. <laughs> he tripped and <laughs> fell on a broom. <laughs> no, no, like up in the air. You know, they, they've got him like strung up around on like a big ceiling fan, and he falls off. It was. It was I a think... scene where Harry jumps off the cliff, and he's just like ping ponging yeah. down the mountain. <laughs> yeah, that was that was all uh, live action, not not CGI. It was. Um, like he was supposed to get knocked back by something, and so they had a wire pull him. Mm. But because it was like one of the simpler ones, I think like that's why like something was set improperly. So the wire ended up pulling him way harder than it was supposed to. Whiplash. How was it? Whiplash or did he? Well, because you you can apparently it was just that he ended up hitting the wall behind the machine and that oh, okay. broke his neck. Oh. Because the you can set the the wire pull for a certain number of pounds, and they didn't go into detail, but somehow like switching between like the previous stunt man to him who got into the rig there was just like either a huge difference in weight or like something like was it, it was haggard stunt, stunt double yeah something. like like so so the wire ended up pulling him way harder and faster than it was supposed to for a person his size and so he kept going and hit the wall behind do you know the scary part is like a lot of that equipment is kind of a little like I would say maybe ho dunk too. I mean, you oh, know, you're oh, like, like the yeah. punching Stunts. gun. Like they say machine, but it's kind of just like it's like a yeah, guy, yeah, the the Harbor Freight air compressor. Yeah, and, I mean, they said set the weight, but that could have just meant that it was literally like a pulley with like some amount of yeah. weight stuck to the and other like your end. squib effects thing. Right. It was just like a CO two cartridge, some like commercial Harbor Freighter. Like right. Oh yeah, valves. like it's like a sprinkler valve. Yeah, sprinkler yeah. Valve. And, like that's commercially some, like sold. vinyl tubing. Yeah, I right. Give them major props because I couldn't I couldn't live that life as a stunt devil doing stuff like that. Mm-hmm. It looks yeah. fun in movies and stuff, but then I sit there and think to myself, I'm lazy. That's too much money. <laughs> if you know. if you were paralyzed from the neck down, this is a great question. I build a new exoskeleton of a robot suit for myself to move around. At what point are you just like you know, fucking I feel like just end it all. Yeah. Just fucking. I feel like I would try to take the uh, Stephen Hawking's route and try to use my brain more since the rest of my body is a fit. Right. What if, what if you were way dumber than Stephen Hawking, though? <laughs> Do you really deny my ability as a human? No, 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 I'm not saying no. you. I mean, for like us. us like, what if. Collectively like, in what the if room. Hypothetically I would, I would the person, will my neurons to like regrow. us. <laughs> which is way <laughs> dumber. Yes. You know what? Yes, I'm here for that. Will your neurons to regrow. <laughs> I uh, if if I die during open sauce, then uh, let this be my last will and testament that there should be more open sauce. Yeah, I don't want there yes. to be a, a if yes, anything. Make sure the next one opens with two a fucking die. ceremony. Oh, yeah, the, with, the, yeah. Alan, two people are sacrificed yeah. in my honor. Alan's like mummified, <laughs> preserved corpse strung up on wires, Fortnite dancing. <laughs> no, we just, we just you have hear the pistons going up in the background, pulling the cables. <laughs> yeah, let make sure I floss on stage. stage. I mean, everyone. Else just shows up in all black attire and stuff. All the superheroes show up. Oh, uh, make sure. Uh, Pay our respects. If, we're all all just- right. So if I die, I, then the next year you have to have Mark Rober back on and on stage. You have to raise my corpse up as a surprise from under the stage and then have me pneumatically actuated flossing again with the NFL theme song. Yeah. And then you can just lower me Wait, back down and that's it. But that's how Mark Rober's talk has to, to keep start. His body that decent for that because oh yeah, is a bitch. oh yeah. I think it'll be okay. I think once you really. Need to see it. Turned Honestly, into jerky. If you yeah. don't want your body, we can deliver to science. I have some Frankenstein experiments I've been thinking about working on. <laughs> oh, I yeah. thought Ooh. you didn't do humanoid stuff. <laughs> You're not human anymore. <laughs> You're dead. What? Corp. Humanoid? It's shaped. Just I take can fix my that. take my skin. Put put a like a like a Five Nights at Freddy's animatronic inside of it, and then the yeah, rest yeah. of it you well, can see donate if we can cut a whatever. human in half with a Cybertruck. <laughs> I, I'm just more interested in seeing if I can get any of his cells to come back. His Actually, cells? Uh, yeah. didn't uh, didn't Nigel? He wanted to do making soap with with human fat. That, right? I don't even know. I, th- I feel like that stemmed either as a collaborative effort. Or what were we gonna do? We were gonna go to Mexico. We were trying to figure out what to, was that his idea? How do you think that? Was, or did I give him that idea? I think his idea was the soap, and he was asking for ideas on how to possibly okay. do. And that. then we made it worse. Oh. Yeah, of like, where do you get the fat from? Right. And I guess like apparently we found some route where you could possibly go to Mexico yes. and get it as like like if remains. you have lip- liposuction. Yeah, yeah, it. possibly. I mean, you would be hard. We, we we may have it at Digikey. 
fat? Human fat? Human fat? Is that Maybe. in the catalog? Wait, what's the, what's, what's the science supply store? The science supply that sells like peanut butter. Do we have a is oh the standards store? standards? Oh. No, no, it's like a standards company that sells like right. it's like poop it's, too. So right? it's like, like the like V. Like, wait, like you could probably culture chemically consistent. Yeah. You could probably culture fat cells like a cancerous fat cell. Yeah, it's not the same though. We gotta go. You go yeah. to like a dumpster, like one of those yellow vats behind. A, yeah, a, like yeah, a, like from Fight Club. You know, like no, yeah, the, exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah, and then you make soap out of it. I mean, I saw um, there was a last week tonight where apparently people who donate their bodies to science there right now is not a lot of laws for where those bodies get sent. Oh, dude, so they're, they're dead. Well, they're for profit companies. Slap me around where you can. Buy corpses yes. and parts of corpses yes. as long as you sort of say it's for science and there's very yes. little like checking. Into I have it. a personal rule. When I die, I want to be burnt. I want my ashes to put be put into filament, and I want someone to build my favorite robot. What the fuck? You're gonna get 3D printed into one of your robot familiars? Yep, <laughs> uh, yep that's what I want. That is wild. You get 3D printed You're gonna with a bunch of dick shaped excavator <laughs> handles. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> Gotta do a cold pull on <laughs> Jay stuck in the nozzle. Dang it again! It would be a bone chunk. Hey. I mean, you can't because cremation doesn't actually obliterate everything. There's still well, chunks in it. Hey, that's fine. We can work a little bit harder. It would be better know? to be Modern like dehydrated pestle. and then and then ground up into a very fine powder. Yeah, because then there's still like some organic well, material it's, it's always, in there. It's always that idea or um, my other plan when I get into my like late seventies to start playing with nuclear fusion. That way I can make a giant robot <laughs> work. So it's either going I, to work. I don't and, think you hey, can just this start back playing with nuclear fusion. The last <laughs> episode you of irradiating your balls. <laughs> you underestimate my power. That's not the. We don't know. I saw Oppenheimer. Or one time, no. <laughs> but no, I actually thought about it. like I was constantly thinking people have a dream way to live, you should have a dream way to die. My dream way to die is that nuclear explosion through my own hands. Mm. Mm. Uh, you know what? I was just talking about this last night. I want to see a nuclear explosion in my lifetime. Oh. Like oh, I really like, want to see witness, one. Witness, witness has. one. Even if it's kills, even if it kills me, I want to see it. <laughs> You know, it's funny. Even if I sneak that's, out to the range old in man North plan. Korea, you would want. How to can see I it? donate my? Almost dead body to science. Yeah. Like at the I very end. My life body to science. I almost wrote I, North Korea a letter wrote, last night saying like, hey, I don't know. I have to do that. Because they're the only people that still moment. test. He's like, they only test. They're the only people that still do nuclear tests. Dennis test. Rodman and can be friends with Kim Jong-un. I know. Jong -un, if he can do it, I can, I can do be it. Too. Yeah. yeah, tell him you'll do it. It's Kim Jong-un, right? Is that the old one? What's the new one? I think it's Un now. Un, Kim Jong-un? Yeah. Yeah. It's me, the backyard scientist. You might have seen my videos. I know you're the only person with a Western internet connection in North Korea. Somebody has watched a video in North Korea. You're yeah, the only one with the internet. It's, I'm, I mean, you could owner. offer them like a 60 second integration. Yeah, that's about what I was how thinking. great it's North like, Korea is. I don't know if I could do a fully integrated video, but like North Korea yeah, is a country that you can't visit. Not, not unless I can suppress the button. <laughs> I'm going back to my idea where I'm just trying to make a really big thing work, and I just need mm. a nuclear power source, and it's only going to work. 120 my kilograms invention. of uranium. It's going to be my greatest invention ever, or it's going to nuke the town. You know, the problem with so, a nuclear power source is it definitely makes enough power that even the wires that are coming out of it are going to be really expensive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. That's why it's, it's an old man dream. That way I can be old. That's okay. Maybe you can get them stuff, as an employee, you know? employee you know, why discount. You could start collecting the parts like slowly through DigiKey right now. Yeah, like, I just know, start but they don't have plutonium in stock. Well, just get all mm. the other things like the, the accessory hardware that you know you would need in the future and just do a little trickle. Mm. Just like, yeah. like bring Lifetime that in. Lifetime plan, you know? Mm -hmm. Like what is that? A giant robotic spider. It's nuclear power. And they can probably destroy most of America. But you know what? If I press this button and it doesn't work, it's been fun. You should see if you can... Um, you know what else is going to happen? You press the button, nothing happens. That's should. how most things if everybody does work. Hit up uh, the hacksmith, James. He had that giant robot spider that I think Hacks broke. Well, yeah. Yeah. let's oh. be real. Oh, could you There's put your brain problems. your brain in that spider? I don't want to live forever <laughs> not, like not that. Your, brain, your, like, your spider be... brain's... Brain, my, oh brain. my um robot yeah, spider, robot spider. Oh, maybe yeah you could, you could yeah. port your familiar's code to the giant hexapod and have it just move and behave in the yeah. same way but it would be enormous yeah that'd be kind of cool you should ask him if you could if he could do that if you could do that with him uh, you know what if he's still around when i'm 70 sure <laughs> 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 I think that robot is probably already in a junk heap somewhere. Yeah, no, yeah I've seen it's the robot. I understand that robot took a lot of time and a lot of money just to get it working yeah. that way. Yeah. Um, it's not something I would have built. Big things are bad. Yeah, Don't big are hard. Big yeah. Thanks to my mortal enemy, gravity. Um, <laughs> making and big bullets. things. Yeah. No, bullets is fine. That's not, <laughs> not an issue. Uh, gravity is more my mortal enemy. Um, it knows what it did. Keep pulling me down each morning. 
<laughs> what floor do you live on? <laughs> the second. Stay, so. stay grounded. You'll definitely survive. <laughs> it's fine. I, I make that joke, but it's kind of like why we can't have bigger things and cooler stuff. Gravity's too heavy. He's got to be in the ocean. And we need more oxygen, like the, the old insects. Well, the giant yeah. bugs. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm already afraid of that. the ocean, and like I hate to be that stereotype, but I can't swim. So... <laughs> I am sorry. This the ocean scares me. It's eighty percent of the planet. We don't know what's down there. Plus, let's be real. We don't own the planet. Whatever's living down there owns the planet. We Atlantis. are yes. Aquaman. I'm not. I'm not. You okay, know, it's wait. funny because my dad made that joke one time because we were like debating superheroes, uh -huh. and he was just like, "Oh, finally, I'll be Aquaman." I'd be like, "I'll beat you up as Aquaman." You just like get into the ocean, come to my <laughs> land, let's see how well you do. And I was like, you know, you may have a point now. <laughs> Because if you actually think about it, fighting Aquaman on his home turf is a bad idea. You just have to stay on the shoreline. That That's pretty much the, the best place to fight. Until I evolve to get gills, I'm good. <laughs> I, I have a question. I don't go on boat rides. We've solved that problem, though. We have scuba tanks. When you, when you say you can't swim, what does that mean? Um, if I'm in the water, I can float. But if okay. you put me anywhere where you say I have to tread water to get back to land, you can't do that. I'm just going to accept my fate. I will okay. call my ancestors. And I would just put my hands in a small little. I would just go down. Because <laughs> I'm not good at swimming. Like I wouldn't say like but I, can, I can tread. Yeah. I I can basically float and sit there for a minute. But like let's say we go to the beach and we get to that yeah. point where it's like really out there, and you're yeah. like, all right, swim back. I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna stay out here. This is it for okay, me. I, I, I do is, do this, it. is this a personal choice? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's I, I can't. I've done it before. I've had too many situations where I've almost drowned. At this point, I'm just like, you know what? The water just don't, don't like me. Because could you it's just? Because cool. you I'm said you could it. float, right? Could you just do the thing where like you just float and then like just sort of move your arms and legs like a little bit to like like a fish yeah just like kind of propel yourself you a know how little? long that would take to actually get from point a to point b <laughs> yeah that's why i don't it's swim better than it sucks. better than dying <laughs> you say that but have you died before i, I, I was on swim team though but <laughs> if i had my, if i had dying is pretty any exercise to never do in my life well, an alternative you know, it's that. funny i prefer running like i like yeah. doing cardio i like that feeling of being able to like have my heart beating fast always feeling and like you're like one step away from death yeah. I like it for one reason. Uh -uh. I'm either going to become really fast and really heavy. Plus, we live in America, so when shit happens, I can escape. Running is mm. good, yeah. Um, yeah. So that's always a very useful skill compared to swimming. Because if I'm out in the water somewhere and some shit is about to happen to me, you but know. But if there's like a nuke, you probably would be safer in the water. If there's a nuke, I'm comfortable with dying. <laughs> Okay, Let's okay. be real. <laughs> well, only you don't you want to stick around for Kevin, the aftermath. Yeah, yeah that, like right? when you ever stop and thought about like the yeah, post-apocalyptic yeah. movies are always funny to me because no, unless yeah, yeah. it's like a zombie thing where you can kind of have fun right. making weapons and trying to survive for about a week, um, nuclear apocalypse is awful. I don't want to deal with that. I'd rather be cooked. Right. Like. No, I agree. Af yeah. the, the aftermath, the EMP. If you do survive, you somehow you have to hurry up and find a really hard surface, declose, de shower yourself. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's so much work you have to do afterwards, and the trauma that happens afterwards that it's just like you know what? You're probably gonna die been, anyway. It's just I'm lazy. I'm just gonna be like, oh, it's too late. Yeah. Oh, I have. If I run right now, I have about 15 percent chance. You know, and it's not what? like one nuke mm. goes off. You know. Yeah. And then right. you got to find out like which way the wind's blowing to stay out of the, the, the radiation fallout. fallout. Yeah. Like, no, I'm good. You know I what? Think people they they'll, they fantasize about sort of this idea of like just it's like normal life except now there's no responsibility there's no rules yeah. Yeah. there's no hospitals there's yeah. no food there's no friends there's no <laughs> yeah. family you there's see, nobody to love you just how you want it there's we no, already have no that we mean we have that <laughs> it's funny because people people who think post-apocalyptic stuff is fun are always the most interesting people for me because like i went through that when my edgy years back when i was a teenager and i wore you know all black had my hair down and everything that's emo yeah it was a fun time moving on no 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 wait 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 you're emo yeah i have pictures what? and everything oh. can we see not on me what the hell I think I'm going to carry that, that embarrassment, that shame. You have the STL files for all your robot friends, but you don't have any pictures of yourself when you were in your emo face. My mom does. And when we, I helped her move oh. recently. I found them all. And looking at them, I'm just like, man, what do your parents I would think? punch myself your, in the face. Do you have your mom's contact info? Yeah, of what, course. What do your parents think of your emo face? 
Um, they, think, the they, think of it, <laughs> they think of it just as a normal thing of like he's going through a phase, okay. like he'll eventually grow out of it, and they were technically right. But looking back at it and seeing how rude and just kind of an asshole I kind of was to try to be hard, <laughs> if I met my younger self, I will punch myself in the face. They already know I will. That's what the time machine's for. Yeah. That's exactly. how we know that you haven't wow. invented, you'll never invent the time machine because you don't remember getting punched in the face. Uh-huh. By Let's be real. If you got punched in the face, like you said, no, here's trauma the thing. makes good superheroes. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. <laughs> True. Here's the thing. I've been in fights before growing up. I've been punched before as a weird teenager going into weird places that shouldn't be. What is as that? Far wait, as wait, wait, I, know, I have more questions than answers. <laughs> you know, what when you're young, you try to sneak into clubs and things oh, okay, like that yeah. and that whole thing. Um, I've been hit before. As far as I know, that could have been a future version of me. Uh, yeah, you have no way of knowing I, for sure. I'm not going to recognize a person out of one punch. I think if I if I invented a time machine. <laughs> I would probably have for completely forget about I would go back a vendetta in, against in, my in old self and, and, and then just do all sorts of well, crazy it, things. Well, the only reason I always think about that because there's so many props on the internet. They're just like, oh, if you got to sit in a room with yourself for like one minute, mm. like your younger self, what would you say? I wouldn't say shit. I would be like, you were an asshole. <laughs> I would say, like, sell, I, I would say, <laughs> yeah. I would say, uh, uh, sell your Dogecoin when you could have bought a helicopter. <laughs> I would, I would go back in time. I would know I would exactly what that to meant. Sneak into a club, and yeah. I would say, you got your whole life ahead of you, man. No, I have not <laughs> like, like something like super nice like that. That would be great. But no, like I like myself as a person now, and I know how flimsy the whole concept of time travel is. I don't want to mess that up because I know one situational difference would happen and I could be a totally different person. You go back in time and bang your mom even once. <laughs> you know, I've everything. seen Back to the Future. Uh, you know, everything. funny thing about that, I've watched Back to the Future recently again because it was such a classic movie and I forgot how the mom looked. And like seeing it the first, I was just like, oh, okay, whatever. Yeah. And then you see her again and you're just like, that's your mom? <laughs> That's Marty, my mom? Marty. 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 Like, Marty. Like, like, Marty. Marty. Yeah, there's only one thing you gotta do. Marty, there's only one you thing you can't do, Marty. We forget. This happened in Futurama. So like No, not your dad been- either, Marty. <laughs> no bad Marty. I, I would the, the only safe thing would be you'd be able to travel into the future and come back to the exact oh, time yeah. that you left. That would be fine. I would be lazy about it. I know if I had the ability to go to the future, I would just go to a coffee shop and then hop on Netflix and then just watch a whole See bunch of stuff. See what future shows are like. Your computer. Yeah. <laughs> like the computer can't connect to the <laughs> yeah, Right? It's like a whole different system My now. My dad has like a 10-year-old <laughs> MacBook and he can't do shit with it that anymore. Be, you go would, 20 years in the future. You go five years dude, in the future I and your shit's go, all broken. I would go two what years. What the hell is 12G. <laughs> and why do I feel warm? <laughs> I will go two years just to see the next Across the Spireverse movie because I'm going to see that. Mm-hmm. I, I, I would be the most <laughs> chill time traveler because I wouldn't really do anything crazy. I would just go see stuff. I have a question. If you went back in time and killed one dinosaur, <laughs> how much do you think it would mess up? It depends. Oh, that, that dinosaur could have been the one that made the chicken. I'm just saying. I guess uh Do you, I don't know. It could be that there there I I've like, that was the one the dinosaur scientist that could have stopped the meteor and <laughs> the, <dinosaur scientists. laughs> the butterfly effect. You killed the uh, one smart dinosaur the that could have saved the dinosaur <laughs> race. And the butterfly you just murdered just them. Like, okay. It, the you just created a new race. Like, yeah, so I, that's like one. a hard reset. The 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 <laughs> interesting sci-fi stories that I've read are the ones that sort of like rather than go with the idea of like the butterfly effect, have this sort of other idea of almost a um, like convergence, like like time has a lot of like momentum mm-hmm. and doing small things actually does not change the course that much because mm-hmm. it does allow for like you to kind of go back and like do minor things without it like actually affecting the future. Yeah. So like maybe it's like, like fixed that. time appoints type May- situations like these certain fixed times kind of have to happen. Yeah. It's like to, maybe like, you else. kill like a hundred dinosaurs and it's fine. Well, <laughs> and then you get to bring back. It the could meat be. It could be a it. thing like um that Loki series in season one where like if it's about to be an apocalyptic event, it doesn't matter. Right. Right. Yeah. So like you can do whatever you want. So right gonna- before the asteroid hits. Yeah. That's when you can kill the most dinosaurs right. without any repercussions. That's a True. lot of work, and I am lazy. Let's be. Why, wait, I you... bet you the price of gas would be like one penny more expensive. <laughs> oh my god, you're right. <laughs> wait, I mean, if... technically, if you got to see where all the dinosaurs died, would you kind of like know exactly where to get all the oil? I think oil is uh, actually uh, mostly plant life. Uh, like yeah, like algae. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think a lot. Of, I think most of the oil is actually from like 
dead plant life and not like dead dinosaurs. Mm. I think I'll, some of it's got to be dead dinosaurs, but I think it's mostly dead plants. Yeah. Well, it's funny because um, I had this idea of just for like a fun sci-fi story if I ever decided to write anything. Um, you know how the James Webb Telescope kind of sees technically in the past mm. from right. how, yeah. how light works? What happens if someone built a satellite that does that but looks directly at Earth? And we can see everything that's happened, that's been happening on Earth for like centuries because of that. You all, you could only see that because you'd have to get the signal back too. Yeah. So the only way like, you could do it would be to send somebody on the satellite, but then they would see it and not be able to do anything. It'd be fun just to send them out there and be like, does it work? I mean, if they do something that we know that, that it works, that's still a win. You'd have to get it. You'd have to like cheat it. You'd have to like teleport or like. Philip K. Dick no, 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 has a they, short story that turned into the movie Paycheck with Ben Affleck where they have kind of that system. But what it did was it was like a satellite that found like an area of space time that was like severely curved. Mm. And what it meant I was, was gonna, they yeah. could see into the future. So oh, like they could okay. actually see into Earth's future because the light that was coming off of it it like was able to come around in a weird way that was like technically FTL. And so if they placed the satellite right, they could see stuff in the future. And that's how the main character ends up knowing a bunch of things that are going to happen. And then he erases his own mind and leaves himself clues onto how to like destroy the machine later. I feel like he I, realizes people shouldn't use it. That's a more of a fun thing. Cause like I always thought the ability to see into the future was like a horrible ability. Because how boring life would be if you can know exactly what's going to happen each step of each way. I like you watching movies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's different watching a movie and stuff. If you think it's I great, would literally then, like, never shirt my pants again. <laughs> I would uh-huh. shirt my is pants it a fart? more. Is it a shit? Is it a fart? Is it a shit? Ah, it was a shit. All right. Don't fart. I would just know how to handle myself better when I did shirt. <laughs> I could run every single red light and not worry about it. <laughs> You guys will use your powers. This I is, could drink it. This drive. is how the boy starts because again, you feel like you guys superpowers. You just do nothing really interesting with it. Just like all yeah. right, are you? Yeah, no, that would be really interesting. I mean, I could I, I could know exactly where I could shoot a bullet and it wouldn't hit anybody, <laughs> or where it would hit somebody. Well, I'm just that's just so boring still. Mm. Because then, what I would, would you do? Well, if I had the ability to see like, into the future, like it would be yeah. fun to do. You were cursed. You're cursed with if the I'm, ability to see into the future. If I'm cursed, I'll start a cult. Oh, okay, okay. Why? Because I can see into oh, the future. Be, that'd be interesting. Yeah, having That's, a cult. Yeah. yeah, I would just have a cult at that point. I would make so many jokes, being like, "I'm actually Jesus. How are you, Jesus?" I'll just tell you all this different stuff that I can see into the future. <laughs> and be like, "Yes, my son, you, worship me." You know, the truth hmm. is, you could probably do that some, now. Like, yeah, there's still some seeing into the future. Yeah. And, like, you could probably make it work. I mean, I, I feel like I would do a cult because it would be there's more of a some, situation. It's still sporting. Yeah, you know? it's not like you just win the lottery a hundred times. Yeah. You know? That would be cool. But though. then what? What do you do? You gotta a manage a cult. Oh, easy. Um, once you get a cult, I'll build be... a, Oh, build your bomb. Well, no, I wouldn't build a bomb. I, well, I'm <laughs> okay. build a, I would a, probably a cult of the nuke. Yeah, yeah, the I'll, cult I'll, of people I would just to help you build them... a nuke so you can watch the explosion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would probably make them stupid smart because I want everyone in my cult to study science. And then we will get to a point where we can, you know, leave the U.S. because I'll have enough people in my pantheon. Where are you going to go? Is it what a cult? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Let you can finish. actually see the future. I don't think it's a cult. <laughs> yeah. You might actually right. be like. <laughs> I may actually be it's making just, a whole it, new civilization. It's like saying the point. U.S. Gar- well, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's like yeah. saying it's like saying the Boys and Girls Club now. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, I feel like if you actually are tangibly right. It's not a cult. So it's like a the, club. The cult need yeah. by, by definition has to be like a falsehood. It can't be a cult that's based off I like a would real say that I mean, skill. Or most cults are definitely built around falsehood. Right. But yeah. is that like the defining feature? I mean, I am technically lying to all these people talking to them. I'm a god when I'm just some random normal. I mean, if you can see into the future, I think that's not right. godhood. Mm-hmm. That's more like me getting cable television faster. No, I definitely <laughs> think that's god territory if you can see into the future. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think I can see into the future. Yeah. Well, it also depends if I can control it or not. What do you mean? Like you well, like, oh, like if you could change oh, like it. if you have vision. Yeah, like what happens, what happens if you see into the future and you can't change it? Like no matter what you do, this future is inevitable. Mm. That's a crappy ability to have. Yeah, I mean that's sort of like if you if you it is going to rain in Philadelphia though, yeah. on March seventeenth. Yeah. Like, <laughs> 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 Here, like, take my money. Get, this is all I get. <laughs> there was a no, there was something useful. <laughs> You're like.
like trying there to was convince all these people that uh-huh. you're like the the messiah. Yeah, you yeah, give yeah. them that. Uh-huh. No, there was a show that was um that was your dog a is gonna take ago, a shit. It was like <laughs> February twelfth, eight a.m. <laughs> well, it's okay. funny. Okay, and then <laughs> no, it's funny because there was a show back on like ABC Seven years ago where everybody on the planet passed out for two minutes, and everybody who passed out got to see their future two years in the future. So mm. for those two minutes, everyone got a vision of their future self in two minutes. So it could have been something as great as like, oh, I found out that my wife was cheating on me or something as stupid as like, oh, in two years from now, I got a dog. Mm. <laughs> like it, it was random. It was 100 percent. And I feel like that's how that would probably end you know, up happening. Two years, two years of not having to worry about dying. We're driving on a country Well, that's the problem of the show, too, because <laughs> some people didn't get a vision. Some people. Oh, so they're like, oh, I'm yeah, going to fucking die. 100%. Yeah. yeah, it was like some people literally didn't get a vision during that two minutes. So like, Turns that, out they were just like spelunking. And the <laughs> I was like, yeah. so it's darkness. <laughs> Well, it was a full sensation thing, though. They felt like it was actually like a real thing. If you're spelunking, you're going to feel the water. Give you a snippet into the future and you're asleep. <laughs> what if uh, two years in well, the future... Well, like, wait, wait, how'd y'all know y'all wasn't like in the future? I just wasn't in bed. Like, wait. Yeah, what if you were doing, you ended up on a YouTube channel, you did like a Mr. Beast in a coffin for seven days thing, and that was the vision you got was you living in a coffin. Getting lowered like, yeah. like into the ground. <laughs> it's so confusing. Like, wait, am I dead or am I alive in a coffin? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Mr. Beast's video is the closest that we're getting to the Hunger Games at this point. Mm. Like, it's, I feel like it's, it's, it's getting pretty kinda, close. It's yeah. getting kind of like one step away from just being like we're watching people murder each other now. I mean, did you see the the new the Squid Game on Netflix? I didn't watch the Netflix show. Uh-huh. I watched his version. It well, yeah, because like when you watch it on Netflix, it it really just feels kind of pointless and mm. also does like for me personally like i have a lot of questions about like how they did it after seeing sort of what you had to do mm-hmm. for yeah, like because yeah. they have a similar yeah. like squib thing i never got an email <laughs> i i i'm pretty sure that they faked it you think so that's probably, that would make the most sense they're, yeah. they're 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 like hard cuts and i think sort of like some of the people that were on the show like have been on social media kind of saying like how certain things played out and i think what they probably do is i don't think they had like a system like a hardware system mm. i think they just when someone was eliminated they would like s- turn the camera off switch like put a thing like in score. them and then set it off did it actually like go <clears throat> off it did it did go off and it was um a whole bunch of real i forgot what it, it was black <laughs> Oh, it was black, black liquid. Because uh, oh. I remember that was a big thing too. Yeah, with no with, red. Yeah, trying to figure out the color. So we picked piss instead. No red, and they were yeah. scared of too big of a charge. Yeah, yeah. 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 And so there's I was scared of too big of a charge. It's like a black <laughs> ink that comes up, but it's like it looks like essentially the same. It's like it yeah. looks like a squib with black ink that just. Pfft. So it's like it's it kind of does feel like. Like Mr. Beast did this like a year ago or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty bad. I mean, Squid Games is such a it's a fun concept, but at the same time, it's so freaking dark. Like I'm I'm currently going through a situation where I'm trying my best not to watch any more post apocalyptic, overly dark dystopia <laughs> stuff. Because that's all we're being fed. And I feel like that's why a lot of people believe that this is just the fate of the universe. It's just we are just. All right, life reflects art. Yeah, sort of thing. same thing. Like, if we keep pumping this concept of like the future is not going to get any better, then why mm. wouldn't you want to actually fight to make it better? Right. It's- yeah, I mean, I I do like the the what is what is the meme? It's like like uh, uh the oh I love that book co- titled "Don't Make the the Dark Pain Torture Machine," and then it's like the headlines are like new startup creates the dark pain <laughs> torture <laughs> machine based yeah. off the book. Yep, yep, exactly. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good idea. <laughs> well, hey, it's like I make the joke constantly. We live in Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven without all the cool stuff. Yeah, we yeah. have the we have the same murder the rate. We still have the drugs. We Internet. Uh huh. But Capitalism. We have companies fighting each other constantly. We have all the stuff that's in Cyberpunk 2077. No stuff flying for, cars. We don't yeah, have none of the no body augments. Robot arm. None of that. Yeah. Flying cars would be a, a freaking horrible disaster. idea. People can barely drive now. You think they're going to be better in the air? Well, at least the accidents wouldn't leave like stuff on the road. Yeah, <laughs> they would leave I stuff you, everywhere. The there hospitals be- would their number of people in hospitals would go down because you just die. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> There's some upsides. Yeah, you wouldn't have traffic jams. Uh, people would die instead of more getting maimed. um i guess it would you, also you, could, you wouldn't be running over things anymore yeah well, i guess birds no more road, road birds oh, yeah. oh global bird population <laughs> well, at the same time they make um Air everything in cyberpunk look super like high tech and advanced to a point where everything's just fun so like as a tinker or an engineer it's kind of like your playground because if you have any of those basic skills you can do a lot 
Yeah. Like in general, you can just do a lot. I was kind of expecting like like young people to be building way more impressive things now. Does that make sense? Like I no, kinda, I actually feel that. I yeah. kind of felt like because when we came up, like when we were in high school, we had MythBusters. That's all we had. Yeah, but like the resources that we had available, it wasn't a whole lot. Yeah. And now, if you're like 15 now, you can get basically anything off of amazon you know that's kind of funny what everybody loves harry potter right it's like yeah. magic yes oh, yeah magic yeah you wave your wand and something mm-hmm. happens yeah mm-hmm. and you go to school and you learn how to do it and you can basically do any of that shit now with like a microprocessor oh, yeah. and electronics yeah. Yeah. and yeah. nobody does no, it yeah. it's, it's less too much cool. work it's, yeah it's well, not it's yeah. learn to program it's one of those know? well yeah because like i i keep forgetting how many multiple skill sets that chemistry? i accidentally have but like at the same time, like I don't know. I think it's the way you're introduced into it is a very big deal about it because I was introduced through like PBS Kids, MythBusters, and then I have an art background. So when it comes to designing my things, it's more of I'm making a character less than a robotic machine. A lot of engineers they kind of stick in your guys' head hardcore, make it function, don't care about how it looks. So you kind of think about like the end result first, and then you teach yourself how to like get to that point. Pretty much. I kind of accidentally, um, I started many fires in my college dorm because when I was first learning. <laughs> Actual I had, fires? Um, enough to make the fire alarm go off and enough to have one incident where the fire department showed up. <laughs> Magic um, smoke. What was that? <laughs> How'd that happen? Um, because I didn't understand Ohm's Law because throughout my high school and K-12 you know, life, I didn't really have a science class that I actually cared about enough to teach us any of this. The, all, the teacher has no idea what's going on as well. <laughs> I don't know I what know, the V stands for or I the what, I or the R. <laughs> the most uh, thing this I is how you remember <laughs> resistor colors, kids. You ready? Don't we tell me when I tell you this. I didn't know what a resistor was. <laughs> you know, that's such, everybody knows. <laughs> I it's always know a, a bad day was. when they teach you the resistor color chart. <laughs> I didn't know resistors. Oh, I didn't know what a servo was. I didn't know any of that. <laughs> So my first like introduction to it was just like, oh, I need a servo and I need a battery. Okay, let me get this uh, twelve battery pack of AA batteries. Wire them all together and attach just them plug to the them. servo right straight into it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. I mean, I and then no, and then here's the thing: I left it on. I didn't unplug it right away. <laughs> And that's when things got interesting. That's magic. Yes, hmm. that's the magic. I learned out. from trial and error because failure became one of my best friends at a young age. Mm. So the concept of being afraid to fail never hits me. It's like a smoldering thing in front of you. Like, hello, old how, many, <laughs> how many buildings <laughs> I have to take no. out? I, this, is, this is why I give my younger self props because uh, we like are so. you want to slap your younger self? Yeah, yeah there's, there's like a narrow no. range oh, yeah. of the there, punch in the middle. It's like, you're a cool kid, but sorry, I gotta do this. Well, no, here's the thing the cool thing about my young, little, weird age is learning how to rebel well and yeah. knowing how not to give up. Because I was a little asshole, I would stick to my guns no matter what it was, and just because I wanted <laughs> you to buy another servo, you do the exact same thing. <laughs> I did it twice technically. And <laughs> it's the servo that's wrong. <laughs> well, you buy a pack of them. You go to Amazon, you get like that's a huge true. pack you get of like them. Five packs. Amazon, why are you buying stuff on Amazon? Because I was like 19 and had no idea how the crap worked. You think you can afford Digi Keys prices? Right? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know anything. Give me a break. I wasn't until later where I learned what a microcontroller was, mm. and then I messed that up. Up and then I just kept going. Oh, that's you, mess up. <laughs> you, you fail often, fail fast, and become friends with failure. But at the same time, I suck at giving up. Like if something will go wrong or some type of project or something error will happen. I'm like, fine, I'm just gonna stay up all night and try wow. to fix it. And then it gets to a point where it becomes detriment to my health. And I'm still like, ha ha, I have one human body. I can make this work. <laughs> I, I am just like you, except without the insight. <laughs> no, I, have, I, 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 I have therapy on Wednesdays. So insight is very okay. useful. Uh, what is today? Is today Friday? Friday. 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 Oh, okay, okay. We have therapy on Friday. Yeah, have- <laughs> <laughs> I remember one of the first like uh, like electronics boo-boos I did. I can remember um, I had, I think it was like a microcontroller and I was trying to figure out how to give it five volts um, from, I think the problem was like it was over 12 that I was getting it from. And so I couldn't use the onboard regulator. Mm. Well, you and could. So, well, so I was like, I was like, oh wait, I know how this one works. It's a voltage divider. So I was like, I was like, wait, I, wait, 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 wait. You weren't going to use the onboard regulator. Right. And so your solution was a voltage well because can the board power. the board has a five volt input right mm-hmm. so if you yeah. have if you have over 12 volts you can't just plug it into the thing because most of them have was it a, a small one because most of them have they still do they do been. but then you can't really draw any 
you can't source any current from it. Like it's enough to power the from R2. the five volt. So I, volt. yeah, I was like voltage divider, ooga booga. Like all ooga I booga. need is for this source to be divided by the resistor value so that the bottom one has five volts over it without considering that the voltage changes as the current draw changes when the mm -hmm. microcontroller is connected to it. I was thinking of the voltage divider as like a perfect like voltage right, right. step mm -hmm. down without thinking about how it actually works. Right. Um, and when I, you put I, a load on it, which is another yes, yeah. resistor exactly, in the divider. Exactly. And I, th I think that one might have, I don't think it magic smoked, but I do think it just stops working very quickly. <laughs> well, see, like that's the thing too, when it comes to like learning these things, a lot of people, you got to have that motivation of why you're doing this. And a lot of people, when you work as an engineer, it's because you're getting paid to do it. It's not because you really want to do it a lot of times. It's because, hey, this is my job. I'm being paid. Mm. But then you have people who do cosplay, which is 100% like free marketing for companies, if you think about it. Mm. Uh, and they go hard for their cosplays because they get a lot out of that. That's them feeling like part of that world personally. Yeah, right. yeah. And that's what can, you know, drive them to go out of their way and learn how to program, learn how to do electronics for servos, to do these small like staff thing or whatever they want to do. It's that small little bit of, you know, what do I get out of doing this? I, I feel like if I had if I had like more time, I would probably be more into cosplay. I feel like there was like there was like a period of time in like my early 20s where I was like just started getting into that. And then I, I just started doing all sorts of other stuff that just like going to conventions yeah it's a lot of a fun lot. yeah um actually you were you were on one of my yeah, panels, on panels once yeah. yeah i did i did With you this, claire and uh what was michael it? reeves michael reeves yeah yeah we did the science of my hero academia yeah at, oh. at why was michael on that i have i don't know i he, dude you invite i remember this you invited him because he's never been to a con before yeah and you were like you ever been to a con you have to come to a con now and even though he showed up right for the talk and then like left right after yeah, i was like so i was like really didn't there's see a 90 the percent yeah. chance he's not gonna show up and then he he showed up right when the panel started. I was like, holy shit, mm -hmm. Michael is here. <laughs> which, which, where was this? It, I think it was uh, San LA Diego. Combo, it was or LA, LA Comic Con. It was LA, LA Comic Con. Con. Yeah. Right, he wouldn't yeah. have driven that. I far. wouldn't have gone to San Diego. <laughs> no, for, for a Comic Con. No. Yeah, See, yeah. I never got into cosplay and stuff like that for the fact that um, cosplayers aren't nice compared mm. to like the maker community was to me when I first mm. got into it. Um, my first time cosplaying, I was met with a lot of bullying and rudeness. Oh, Why? God. Because the character ain't black. Let's be real about what it. What character? Oh. I'm not even going to say it. It was Elsa. Wasn't it? <laughs> Elsa wasn't out back then. So <laughs> Elsa wasn't out back then. <laughs> Besides, every everyone, <laughs> everyone, everyone, Elsa is still brand spanking new in, in my age, sir. So, <laughs> Do you uh, know Frozen was 10 years ago? Yeah. And it's still before I... <laughs> <laughs> Still before that time, I did that. But then I cosplayed one time and literally a lot of the uh, cosplayers I was meeting were just super rude, like super mm. mean. Just super because rude. you were black. Yeah. And the character, the character you were wasn't. Yeah. I mean, and then it was just like, all right, fine, then I won't cosplay. And I a just lot of times the did. characters are hot, too, and people still yeah. dress up as them. Like that, that, that's like well, the silliest like, well, thing. Well, you it's the, are way too ugly. It's funny. <laughs> it's funny, but it's the same thing as video game logic, though, because like in video game logic, most of the time, unless you're playing an Elder Ring game, you want the first level to be super easy and super fun because then mm -hmm. people will get into your game. Right. Right. And that was my first time trying it's to like cosplay. Drugs. The first one's free. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But they uh, did the opposite, where it was like yeah, the it first was one was the hardest and yeah. terrible. Even it, though, so I never did it. So then when I got into making stuff, I my first little make project was awful, and I posted on the internet, and everyone was like, "I love it," and I was like, "Oh, thank you for accepting me for my existence." I can absolutely <laughs> guarantee that everyone who ever gave you shit for cosplaying never ever fucking stopped to realize that like the vast majority of like the anime characters that are being cosplayed by white people are like supposed to be Japanese. They're actually yeah. Japanese, so it's well, like like they don't have an issue with that. that. There's that now. I also realize, um, of course, when I got older and I did therapy, ah, let's go Wednesday. Moving on. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I learned a lot of these characters are actually people's support characters. They're these characters that you see yourself as or you want them to win. They make you feel safe and in control. Right, right. When these characters get attacked, whether you like, you know, react to them, like a good example was Ariel when it made Ariel black. Mm -hmm. I don't really believe it was because everybody was racist. A lot of people grew up with white Ariel and that was their support mm. character. That was that little girl who like had that one moment of safety and insecurity mm. and stuff like that. That. I, like so like Ariel with like leg I like Ariel. Yeah, I like change. Ariel. I like leg I Ariel. <laughs> I don't like fish Ariel. <laughs> uh, I prefer fish Ariel. <laughs> <laughs> Point is, I, I like, like, I like I an octopus. Have to be a fish. Give me the octopus lady. <laughs> oh, Ursula? No, let's be real. Original cartoon Ursula, like, mm, mm, mm. I'm, <laughs> I'm not afraid to admit that. I'm going to go ahead because I was very much young and didn't understand what was happening. And then I got older and I was like, oh, that's what I was. We don't have to share. <laughs> 
Ariel, Ursula, Sebastian. Uh, I like, what's the fish? A flounder. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, Atlantis, well, yeah like, I think of... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I He's think, a snack. I think in back to it, I always I try to make it yeah, seem like it's not treat. a place out of, like, you know... It's not a place that was like pure hostility. They just didn't mm-hmm. understand that these characters to them is like really overly protective because that's their hero character. It's also right. the reason why no one can beat Goku because a lot of kids grew up watching this guy oh, yeah, yeah, overcome yeah. stuff. So in their head, if Goku could overcome it, I can overcome it. But if you one beat Goku, I Luffy. can't overcome it. Right. So that's like the endless internet arguments of like Superman versus Goku or yeah. Saitama versus Goku. And like everyone saying like, oh, Goku would win no matter. It's like. <laughs> Goku could lose. Why not? Oh, no, like, Goku, lose. Goku would lose because Goku's the type of person who's like, I'm, I need you to be at your strongest. So I'm going to throw you into a heart of a sun. Wait like a year for you to power oh, up. Yeah. And then I'm going like, to Then you. I'll fight you, Superman. Yeah, you, you <laughs> like, let's be like, super bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I, will, I will 100% admit, Superman can be killed if you cheap shot him and go for the kill right away. If you get him a chance to take you seriously, Kryptonite? you will- Magic. Those are the two things. That Kryptonite you can- bullet w- was the first concept that actually worked on him. And there was a whole thing with that because he got shot. Let's be real. If you let Superman take you seriously, if he's fully aware that you're trying to kill him and he gets to hit you back seriously, you're not going to win that fight. How many decades do you think it took in the comics for Superman to finally get shot with a Kryptonite bullet? You know, you know how expensive that Kryptonite bullet must have been, too? That right, has to be like a billion dollar bullet. Super rare in that world. Yeah, like it's crazy kryptonite. rare. And then you have to first get it fabricated and make sure that it's strong enough to be shot out of a sniper rifle. <laughs> so you have that's that one bullet. I would, I cost. would poison his food with <laughs> kryptonite. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this thinking, dumbass goes to the same <laughs> McDonald's uh, Tuesday. I would, I, would be, I would make friends with Goku because Goku could beat him. <laughs> <laughs> Goku, I'll do literally the whatever. The important thing is you didn't, you didn't do cosplay. Yeah, the important thing is I didn't do cosplay. Our support character, cosplay. What character? What character? What character? What character? I'm never going to tell Why? you. Why? Um, because then we're just going to get the comments are going to follow him <laughs> here under this video. What year, my point. My point. The point is, um, I love the art of cosplay. Like I love when people make their cosplays. I love watching those videos. Mm-hmm. I even have a whole thing with that. But it's something that I personally will not do. And I actually like it, too, because it, um, I believe, actually, it was the nicest thing I ever got out of Alan, too. Um, I do my own thing. And not a lot of those. Oh, yeah. wow. <laughs> I remember I was, back when he was trying to hire me, so he's trying to butter me up, y'all. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I mean, remember when I was working on guilty my, as charged. my stuff, <laughs> and I was telling him, like, I, <laughs> you asked me, do I do any, like, cosplay stuff? And I was like, no, I usually do my own thing. And he's like, oh, that's good, because, like, you do your own thing. You never have to worry about, like, copyright or anything like that happening to you. <laughs> And I was, I was probably like, facing something at some point in time that had to do with that. Yeah, and I was just like, oh, that's really true. And that's like a thing. I was like, oh, my God, that's never stop and thought about it. That's super nice. And that's been the nicest thing this man's ever said to me in my entire life. He still has never said anything. I mean, yeah, that's I, when, you, when you sort of um, because I, I, I used to do a lot of like the like real life comic book anime sort of thing. Mm-hmm. And I kind of like it, it, you kind of realize after a while that you're partially leaning on something you have absolutely no control over right so it's like if if like someday marvel oversaturated themselves and started making a bunch of bad crap and people weren't interested anymore and that was like your shtick was like oh i make the real life marvel stuff suddenly it's sort of like well now you're kind of in trouble Mm -hmm. because you're not fully you like like if it's just it's you, like you're used to swimming and then yeah. all of a sudden you have legs and you don't know how to walk exactly yeah, yeah. yeah. and then yeah. the the prince is like very handsome right. and you have well, to talk to him and also person, right but you've I, lost your singing voice exactly and that's I the hate only the way free you can marketing people <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. well i also hate the free marketing too because like nowadays if you think about it a lot of uh games and like tv shows they want you to cosplay they want mm-hmm. you to go out and do that thing because it's a free marketing yeah. thing. You dressing yeah. up as my character, that means it's free marketing. They'll see you and think of me. Speaking to a point now where they even release cosplay pages. Like speaking of, 40. So, so speaking oh, of God. free marketing, right. is there anything you wanna you wanna talk about? Any, any, <laughs> any marketing you wanna do? Yeah. Uh, I would just say, uh, you know, shop at DigiKey because you'll help me out a lot. <laughs> Digi- key, for that. They're not. Digital <laughs> Keysters, D- DigiKey um, is a champion. If you want to follow me and my crazy stuff, I am odd underscore J with two Y's on Instagram. I'm the same on Twitter, uh, TikTok, and am I anywhere else? Yeah, but only if you've never thought about fucking a robot. If you right. ever thought of that, then don't I, don't sick. look at his stuff. You're, you're sick, sick, and you don't deserve to see his yeah. content. Honestly, oh, Alan, if, if you ever yeah, thought about yeah. That. <laughs> Fair, yes. fair. Alan, Alan will build it for you guys. But personally, if I can leave you with anything, just you know, hope for the best, make what you can, and just live day by day. One day you're gonna die. Just do what you want. Yeah, yeah. 